It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Hold on, let me fix my... Oh, here we go. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of Brilliant Idiotness. Uh, Wax is here. Yo. Um, Alex is here. Yep. Angelo is here. And that's it. So listen. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say I'm here. I didn't, say, I didn't say Schultz was there. Nah. Oh, my I bad. How here. he does that. How Hezzy he tries to here. divide and conquer us, bro. <laughs> how, how was your week? My, my week was great, yo. <laughs> listen, listen. Yo, Ta- Taylor is here. But Taylor is missing something. Taylor is producing. She's missing a lot. I, I t- Taylor's been doing a great job the past couple of weeks producing. She has. And now she's just in studio producing. That's what producers do. They be in studio behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yo, don't, don't ever cross Charlemagne, though. <laughs> what are you talking yeah, about? Don't ever cross Charlemagne. <laughs> That's my niece. Taylor could never cross me. <laughs> don't ever cross Charlemagne, yo. <laughs> Taylor could never cross me. And I would never cross Taylor. That's my niece. Right, right. right I just want right. to see every, I want I just like I, every never mind. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody's week going? <laughs> you got a big announcement today. We're recording, we're recording this on Wednesday, but big announcement today. Bravo. Thank you, man. Charlemagne's new show coming out on Comedy yeah. Central. Yeah, 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 yeah the yeah, God's yeah, honest yeah, truth. Yeah, yeah. The God's Honest Truth premieres uh, September 17th at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central. Friday nights at 10 p.m. Um, executive produced by Stephen Colbert. Oh, yeah. And, and, and my man, Aaron Magruder. Oh. Know, the legendary Aaron Magruder who created the Boondocks and Black Jesus. Um, yeah. So, you know, I can show you better than I can tell you. I, I, you know. That's great. This, I, can, I can show you better than I can So tell when does it come out? September 17th. September 17th. Friday, September 17th, 10 p.m. Comedy Central every Friday night. So we're going to be tuning in every Friday. Yeah. Unless I have a show, then you can uh, record it. Yeah. 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 Tune into that shit. Yeah. Listen, listen, however you however you choose to watch it, whether you want DVR it, watch it later, watch it on YouTube, whatever it is, you know, I just. um, Is it going to be on YouTube? Of course. Put it everywhere. Why would it? Absolutely. I mean, I I mean, you know, you got a lot of uh, corporations who may not necessarily believe in YouTube, but do they exist anymore? Mm. I don't think there's no net, there's no network stu- that's stupid that wouldn't put their content on YouTube nowadays. Viacom was the original one. They didn't know no better. Yeah. But a lot, I mean, a lot, a lot of people felt like that. You know what I'm saying? That there was a time when iHeart felt like that as well. Yeah. You know? But it's just like, yo, the, the, I think dot-coms are coming back, but I think the culture moved away from dot-coms in a real way, yeah. and they're on YouTube. So it's like, it's, it's all about taking the content and putting it, meeting people where they are. Mm. Everywhere the content needs to be. If, if it needs to be a podcast, put it on the podcast. If it needs to be on YouTube, put it on YouTube. If it's on linear TV, put it on linear TV. Okay. So mm-hmm. You just got to meet people where they are. That's all. But, you know, mm-hmm. September 17th, The God's Honest Truth, um, executive produced by myself, Stephen Colbert, and uh, Aaron Magruder. And, and my and my home my home girl, Rachel Edwards. Y'all know Rachel. Of course, yeah. Rachel from yeah, MTV. Yeah. I said hi to her yesterday. Yeah. You saw Rachel? No, no. She was uh, Zooming in. Oh, oh with Mark. Talking, my yeah, God, yeah, Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rachel, Rachel is the showrunner. Showrunner, executive producer for The God's Honest Truth. I so. remember when Rachel was uh, a receptionist. A receptionist. Yes. That's when we first met her. That wow. was like, damn it, that was ten years ago. Bravo, Rachel. Yeah, well that was, she, she was. She was Candida's receptionist at MTV too. But that's what life is about. Life is all about growing and evolving mm. with your people. Put yourself mm. in position. That's what it's about. That's yeah. what it's about. That's what it's about. And you know, Rachel's just one of those people who. Just always played her position. Like she know she know what she wanted. She was started as a receptionist, but she knew she always wanted to be a producer. Mm. So, you know, over the years, she's just been consultant producer. And she was she was she was my producer on Uncommon Sense. When she when I when I first started my first talk show, Charlemagne and Friends on MTV too, she was um she was still Candida's assistant. And then when I started Uncommon Sense, she was a producer. Mm. So the three years I did Uncommon Sense, the three seasons I did an Uncommon Sense on MTV too, she was a, a producer on, on on that. So now she's the showrunner, executive producer of The God's Honest Truth wow, on Comedy dope. Central. So that's what it is. Big, big, now, big. salute to Giannis yep. and the Milwaukee Bucks. Yep. You, you see me in here with the Bucks jersey. Yep. This is Chris Middleton. Chris Middleton went to Portugal High School, uh, 843 Low Country all day. Never met the brother, but um, I salute him because he's from the crib. But I love Milwaukee because you know Milwaukee was the first city to ever syndicate the Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah, I remember you saying that. Salute to V one hundred point seven in Milwaukee. But I love Giannis because 
Everybody's dick riding Giannis now. Why do you pronounce his name like that? What is it? What is it? Giannis. I thought it was just Giannis. Giannis. Giannis? Yeah, Giannis. Or Giannis, Giannis? or Giannis? Giannis. But Giannis. Giannis. I don't know. It sounds like a SoundCloud rapper Giannis. or something like that. It sounds to me like whatever you feel in your heart when it comes to him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, everybody know who you're talking everybody about. Everybody know who you're talking about. The Greek freak. Yeah. You know what freak. I mean? Yeah. What do you think about the Greek freak show? Um, 50 ball in a closeout game. <laughs> That's all you gotta say. Beastie, Take man. Take over. You can't say anything else after that. 16 to 17 free throws. A little and a, cheating, put though. Put a 50 little points. He got, he got to have a ghost out there. Milwaukee is full of ghosts. He probably had a ghost from somebody. Uh, like oh, we know. Yes, no, That's for right. Real. I remember it's you guys really did that serious tour. Out there. Yeah. I, I, I literally told somebody that story last night when me and Wax, we had to stay in Milwaukee for a week when we shot Catfish and we was in that hotel and... um. Who, who happened? A woman came to your room? Yeah, she had smoke weed. I smoked weed with a ghost. Yeah. They didn't see the girl, and I told them, like, the girl was sitting on the bed. Like, no, we didn't see nobody. Like, she's sitting right there talking. Like, nobody was in your room. And then we went down there, and they said, the girl, they asked about the girl. They said, near, uh, uh, her, she was a receptionist, and she died. She got killed in that room. What's crazy? Did and check you this smoke. And I was smoking there? weed with the white girl. White girl, black girl? White girl. And listen, and I promise the guy everything love I love. Girls. Stop. Wax Stop. loves white girls. No, listen, it was just a, a dead ghost. Dish in oh your my room. God. No, it, it was it was it was That's so as white as he gets. <laughs> <laughs> she was made for the room. And I was just like, yo, you in my room. And she was like, you got weed. It was just like, I we What about the drawers room. opening up? That's what I'm about to tell you right now. And I promise to God, anything I love. Yeah. She was showing me, she said, over in your brother's room, somebody got killed over there, over in his room, and described him. He told me how the person looked later, later on. But she was like, look, this is what happened when I go in the room. And she was like, open up. The drawers start opening up. The lights start flicking. I still smoke weed through the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Was she speaking all like old timey and stuff? No, she was yeah. just chilling. Like I promise. And when they told me, they said, "Yes, that's her." I described it. Yes, that's her. How long her. ago she did died. it happen? This is like how long ago did she got killed. You know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I forgot exactly what they told us. They said not too long ago though. Now, mind oh, you, this is recent. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now, mind you, I didn't talk to him till the next morning. Yeah. So I'm in my room. I'm asleep, and you know, I, I, I look, I open my eyes, and I see like this. Figure, it, it looked like a shadow on the wall, right? Yeah, yeah. So I see this figure, <laughs> and the figure was holding a gun, and then I saw him pointing at another figure, and it was like, and then I saw the figure drop, and I saw him standing over, and I go, what the fuck? I just woke, I woke, I was, I, st I sat up and I turned the TV on. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> right? <laughs> I was like, in my dream, I, I don't know if I was half dreaming or whatnot, right? So I went this back to real. sleep. I promise it's in Milwaukee. Real. It was on the outskirts of Milwaukee. I can't remember. Yeah, two guys was in the room, one pointing a gun at another. It was a, no, it was like and it was you a, turn the TV on. You ever seen like those uh when they do like the shadow puppets on the wall? Yeah, yeah. that's how it looked. It looked yeah. like this. It was a figure on the wall, and it was holding a gun. And I saw the other figure do like this and fall out, and then it was holding the thing over. And I just was like, "Yo, man, what the fuck?" I so I got, I got I literally got up and turned the TV on, and then just went back to sleep. So the next morning we go downstairs. The lady at the front desk, she goes. Y'all see any ghosts last night? <laughs> and I'm like, actually. On that floor. <laughs> like, I'm like, actually. And I, he told her what happened. Mm -hmm. And then I told her what happened. And she was like, yeah, the maid, she told the story about the maid. And then she yes. was like, and, and a guy got killed in, his room. in your room. Yeah. I mean, you ain't got to believe us. We just telling Milwaukee is kill Milwaukee. There ain't no place to play around. There ain't, no, they ain't playing in Milwaukee. No, don't play around. Now, I'm, sure, I'm sure some people got killed last night in a celebration. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, but they, sure they, they, they said one of the other hotels we stayed at, they said that um, the baseball team don't even stay there no more because a bunch of them got hunted um, out of there. I can't. I wish I could remember the name of this hotel, man. It's on the outskirts yeah. of Milwaukee. It was like 45 minutes outside and of the Milwaukee. People definitely got killed. I'm there. telling you, and I bet you if I say the name of the hotel, people know exactly what I'm talking about. I guarantee people hearing us have this conversation and they like, I know exactly where they were staying at. And yeah. why would the ghosts stay there? Spirit's probably trapped. Yeah. Probably gotta Why, get, like, who, what traps? You got to release like, what are these the spirit. Rules? I, I never think, understood. I mean, that. think about how they died. I mean, it, it, uh, somebody got killed, right? Right. So that's like traumatic. Like you yeah. got killed in this hotel. But they can move around the hotel. Why can't they just go outside the hotel? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, there's a reason that you got to have people come in and do the case. Probably was never solved or something. They yeah. they not resting in peace. I yeah. don't know. People sage the room. They pray over the room. Like you're supposed to do this whenever you move into a new establishment. Yeah, they right. still when there. You move into a new house anywhere. You got to get that energy out of it. <laughs> got to get it out of there. My mom pray all the time. All my houses. He think we bullshit. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I don't no, have listen, no reason to lie about that. that on everything everything I love. here, guys. You really she believe me? Showed me yes. the doors and everything opening. No. I'm, I, guarantee, I guarantee I'm not playing. 
I, the I, hag really never got you or nothing? You never got hit by the hag. The hag? You know, when you're sleeping, when you're sleeping and you have that feeling like oh, you're yeah. awake, but you can't move. But yeah, yeah they're like, like holding you down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That never happened to you? No, it did, but I was at a Bible camp and then- uh, <laughs> They said the first person you see is that's the problem. But no, the reason I respect Giannis because I never understood the whole conversation about Giannis don't have no skills. Nah, I didn't ball. understand that logic. People were literally saying Giannis don't have no skills and they were ah. like, he's the Robin, the Chris Middleton's Batman. Love Chris Middleton, 843 all day. But, huh? No, nah. no, no. I don't think that, that he didn't have skills. I think that they said he had no bag. Like, uh, he had no, like, moves. He does. Nah, you know, the guy can take the ball enough. up court. He drives his size, everything. Yes. No, no, no. He doesn't have like uh, you know, a hezzy crossover. He doesn't have like an in and out, a spin move. Irvin, that kind of shit like Michael, that. Like, of course. James yeah. Harden got crazy moves. Like LeBron, he's a two guard. <laughs> no, I know, but like, that. like LeBron doesn't have any moves. Like LeBron's crossovers trash, but like he is such incredible physicality and such amazing agility that he can just use his force. And his ability to like move his feet like a point guard yeah. to get by you, right? There's nothing you can do. And the same thing with Giannis. So they've never really had to develop that. But you have a guy like Steph Curry, his bag is crazy. Like yeah, he has to really do that because he has, has to. to. Yeah, yeah exactly. those guys are guards. But the criticism of, of Giannis, I think, was reasonable. But what they did is they created a team around him where yes. Chris Middleton can be the guy who's going to get your one-on-one -on -one shot, but Giannis is going to affect every part of the game. Yes. He's going to be the guy who sets the pick that gets Middleton open. Yes. He's going to be the guy who gets the rebound off a missed shot. Yes. He's going to bring the ball up the court. Yes. Double two, block that. Like, I just he thought they were being too game. hard on him, man. When it was like, oh, he's, he's a number two. How is Giannis a number two? No, no, no. That's, that, that's, that's the shit that like, and we're all guilty of this. Like, I need a hot take. I need a hot take mm, about this uh -huh. team. And it's mm. like, he shut all that hot take shit down when he Period. put 50 in a closeout game. Period. Bro. And Chris Paul was, was uh, not to be seen in the last four minutes of that fourth quarter. Nah, where they were down by over. six and four points. Nah, but you're down by it's six and over. four points. It's That's when, if you're the best player on the team, you got to run it. And Like Giannis did. Giannis like Giannis, like, I'm not going home. Giannis said, I'm, I put, I'm, I'm putting up 50. Period. I, I want to sleep in my bed tonight. Yep. I'm not going back to the hotel. Yep. We're not packing a bag. Ooh. We staying here tonight. That's it. That's what I loved about it. He put his... Remember when, remember when to, Jordan said, we're only packing one suit? Remember when they were going up. to Utah? That's right. I'm only packing That's one right. suit. There's That's two right. games they're supposed to play in Utah. That's right. They're packing one suit. That's right. I mean, he he, he enforced his will on every aspect of the court last night. 100%. Blocking shots, you know. I, 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 I just loved it. And I love the fact that he's a testament to, regardless of what criti uh, critics are saying, regardless of what opinions people have, you just keep doing the work right. until people don't got shit else to steal say. Steel trap. He's a steel trap. Oh, this, this is, is the hotel. hotel. The Fister Hotel. That's what it's called? Maybe. Let me see. The Fister Hotel? That's just green slime. T. Diddy I... will find a way to get on the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's doing what she pulled. That's producer. Nah, that's yeah, yeah. Producer. supposed to pass that. <laughs> produce you know a nice roadblock <laughs> in our NBA conversation. Got her right. But yeah, I think that like... I think the criticism was always before, like with a guy like Giannis is, can a guy who can't shoot jumpers, and I've said this about players, like can a guy who can't shoot jumpers be the best person on your team in the playoffs? Because during the regular season, you could put up these big games, mm -hmm. but then like you saw what happened to Julius Randle with the Knicks, right? Motherfucker was killing it every yeah, single yeah, game yeah, for the yeah. Knicks. And then in the playoffs, the jumper's not consistent, yeah. and all of a sudden shit falls apart. And that was always the issue with Giannis. It was just back up off him. He's not going to be able to shoot. That was... It was a tricky thing that kind of Rondo had to work around, even though he did get a championship. But or, I guess two. Wait, did he get another one? He got one. Was he, he on the Lakers? He was on the Lakers. He yeah, got he was two. on the Lakers he last year. He got two. And I, I hate seven footers that shoot three pointers. That shit irks the fuck out of me. I ain't I'm not talking about the Kevin Durant, Dirk and the Whiskeys. I'm talking about the, Gian the Giannis's and the Joel Embiid's. Oh, yeah. Like, I hate that shit. Like, yo, you yeah. seven feet tall going to paint. Yeah, take it to the And dominate. by the way, that's what dominated. I saw Giannis doing this playoff. Dominated. He definitely dominated. That, yeah. the, the game that turned everything around for them was when he didn't shoot no three-pointers against the Nets, and he just was driving to the basket, dominating That's in the I paint. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess the only knock that some people could have on him was, you know, they beat a depleted Nets team. But what I try to explain to people is, like, injuries are part of sports. That's right. Like, yeah. staying healthy That's is right. part of sport. Like, yes. there are some people who manage to stay healthy their whole career. That's yeah, a skill. Them. Taking care of your body. That's right. Understanding what you need. Very Do you important. need rest? Do you need a That's game right. off? That's number one, actually. Real talk. If you want, yes. if you want to talk about making money, it's starting to You spend wrong. three more years in the league. That's minimum thirty million dollars more that you could make. 
Think about that. Yeah. There's a guy that works for a team, buddy of mine's on, uh, and uh, basically he he said this, the trainer goes up to the players and goes, if you give me one hour, three times a week, I'll add three years to your career. Wow. One hour, three, and he's just a trainer. Wow. They're mm-hmm. going to work on, what is it, uh, flexibility. They're going to yeah, work all these different things. Just give me one hour, three times a week. Very I'll add important. three years. That's tens of millions of dollars. Who's not going to wow. do that? Investing in your People life. People that can't see the future. Because yeah. that's, I never even thought about it like that, but that makes all the sense in the world. Because we don't think about it. Because now, like, I don't know if you're dealing with this, but like, now I'm like, oh, fuck, my back is fucking hurt, my knee, this. And I'm like, mm-hmm. maybe if I stretched throughout my 20s, I wouldn't be feeling like shit now. Yeah, you'll be I like, feeling like wax. I still got it. I dropped it low today. <laughs> I dropped it low today. Really? Easily. And you just, stretch? No, nah, I was just walking. Oh, and just, then just I, dropped it? Boom. Pow. Hit that shit one time. Really? You know That's all. Just Where dropped, were you? Walking through the radio station just because. Ah. That's all. Happened. <laughs> Did you shut shit down? Shut shit down. <laughs> People just stop at that door? Motherfuckers was like, oh, shit. Now all I heard was Nelly, drop down and get your ego. Like, hey. shit, he started playing out of nowhere. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Look, I was oh, up and, shit. Oh, he's, not telling, he's not you know telling a lie. I don't be lying. Okay. I ain't lied since this podcast started. What's dropping? Wow. That's Son, what I'm talking you about. You went ass to the grass, bro. That's, That's what crazy, I'm the ground. On I didn't old. even know if you could do... I can't do that. If I do that, I fall back. I saw you. I saw you. You had somebody on your back the other day and you was lifting it up. You look like you about oh, to die. Yeah, yeah. But I, I actually did it, though. But Akash. I Akash, yeah. But I couldn't go all the way to the ground. What's up with all these vowels? Why people got so much vowels in their name? What happened? We're not going to talk about how black people spell their names. <laughs> Fucking yeah. apostrophes and shit. And the way you pronounce them, though. I know we're not going to have a conversation with that. Wax. Come on, yo. I got it. That's my, my, my on, the, on the talk show. My name is it's Leonard Charlemagne McKelvey, right? Ooh, you put your real name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I mean, wow. I'm and it's all about it's, it's about legacy at this point, right? So this is rebranding? You want your kids to be able to see that. Um, not necessarily Please. rebranding. You, just you think your up. kids wouldn't recognize you? I just think it's better when they see they. I think it's dope when you see your last name on TV. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like for, for me anyway. Like I they've did. been watching The Breakfast Club this whole time. Like, who is that mom? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm serious. Who is that guy who looks just like our dad? But it's just different, right? Like if you're trying to, if you're trying to, God if damn, you're trying man. to build, if you're trying what to build, his dad in the mornings, yo. Why well, is nah, he never man, around? If, you, yo, if, you try, crazy, if, like. if you're trying to build legacy, like <laughs> there's a reason you got Shope Studios. Yes, yes, yes. You know what I mean? Like if you're trying to build legacy, you want. It should be your last name, like Dame Dame, Dame Dash. You say that hustle for your last name, not your first. I just think it's it's dope to have a. Now you've said on this exact podcast the exact opposite argument. What I said? You said sometimes you want businesses that are bigger than you, so you don't keep your, but that's your name not business, in the business. Though. That's just me hosting. I'm hosting the show. Show's a business, but it's inspiration because your kids will see that and be like, "Oh, I agree with that. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. think that's cool." And I, mm-hmm. I, I also the studios are different too. I think. I guess I, I to me it's it's like. Not only is it your studio, but not only for your kids, but also like your parents and shit. You know, Absolutely. like your parents are getting to the point where they're ready to Word leave up. this, yeah. you know, this Word earth, up. and uh, it's cool to know that they have a lasting legacy. Yeah, yeah it's part. It's part, to me, it's part of breaking uh, generational curses. Ooh. You know what I mean? But I said all that to say I'm putting the accent at the in in somewhere in Lenard. It's either gonna be on the R or the D. Why don't you just go L, L apostrophe N R A D Lenard? Yeah, Lenard L. Apostrophe N R D. So what does the apostrophe make it do? What? What the apostrophe make it do? What does possums do? What? <laughs> what did you say? What's the apostrophe? Apostrophe. I think it just makes you go. Uh, it, it's fancy. Yeah. It's like garnish. It's like uh, a <laughs> little green shit you put on shit. <laughs> and food you can't eat. But you can get like rid truffles. of. A, no, no. It's a conjunction, right? You can get rid of a letter. Really? Yeah. Did Wait, not what? is didn't. No. Yeah. Okay, we're not talking about apostrophes then. What's the they other They are shit? is there. The shit Beyonce got. That's not an apostrophe. Oh. Okay. Accent? Lenard. You put it over the A. Lenard. Lenard. The, yeah, Lenard. Lenard. Because Lenard. the accent tells you to put the emphasis on that syllable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Lenard. Lenard. Well, just Lenard. Lenard. Why you keep doing that, bro? <laughs> you keep doing that. <laughs> Why you keep doing that? Are like, we racing the space? Le- you Le- dancing on bass Lenard. 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 <laughs> keep going higher. <laughs> like, what is- <laughs> Yo, what do you think about the white uh, the white boy big dick contest that's happening in space right now? I, I listen. Everybody act your fucking wage. Yeah. When you see big dog billionaires doing big dog billionaire (laughs) shit, sit your stupid ass down and watch them do what they do. I don't have an opinion on that. That's not in my tax bracket. Okay. I can't even. People who do that shit are hating. What do you mean? Fuck him, man. He's spending his money going to space. The fuck else he supposed to do with eighty billion dollars? Yeah. What would you do with eighty billion? Think about it. You were trying to make him sound rich. 
and you just insulted him. How much you got? He got two hundred billion. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so like, like you just called him a poor fuck boy. Poor son. Fuck yeah. boy. Eighty billion. Hey, you you better ask your wage. You don't even know about this money I got over here. Two hundred. Two hundred wow. billion, bro. I'm, wow. I'm not mad at it. I don't. I don't even. After the divorce, think about that. Wow. Gave his wife half, recouped it all, and made more. Gave Van Jones a hundred million yesterday. What? Yeah, bro. He gave Van Jones and he gave the chef Jose a hundred million. What do you mean? What do you mean? It's it's part of some it's some award. I can't remember. I think it's some type of civility award that Jeff. But does Bezos he have to give that. it to other people? I mean, he's I'm giving a hundred million dollars to donate to whatever charity. Oh, uh, fuck to. all that! Don't give me that money. I got to give it away. He can do it. I mean, I mean give, give donate it to me. I figure it if out. If I'm Van Jones, I donate ten million to my charity, <laughs> right off top, <laughs> right, right away. Because you can and, 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 and pay yourself a salary, and then you just give the rest up. Oh yeah, that is how those rich motherfuckers do it. They have their charities that their kids are the ones that are the CEOs mm -hmm. of, and they're getting paid a million dollars a year. Like, but Van really be doing the work though. I mean, I can't. I mean, you know, we cut fifty and you know reform. I, he 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 really does the work. So it's not like mm -hmm. he's not doing the work. It's not like Jeff Bezos just pulled a random shout to you, out Van. What do you what do you think about it? About what? Them, the big dick space contest. Um, I just think it's so funny, dude. Like Richard Branson coming out of nowhere and taking his little kite up into the sky and trying to compete with these motherfuckers and like, oh, I'm gonna get up there first, but he didn't really get to outer space. And then Bezos kind of getting to outer space, but he's not doing it the way Musk is doing it. It's oh, just they weren't like, in space. They they in kind of space. There's a line that we were learning earlier on Flagrant. It's called what was it? The carbon. The Carmen line. And nobody broke it. Say what? So it's not a virgin. Nah, like. <laughs> <laughs> me, what is the Jay Z? What? Me and the boy. Uh, you didn't break. The, you didn't break the Earth's hymen. That's what you yeah, said. exactly. Nah, they ain't break it. They ain't break. It. I wonder why I ain't no Still selfies, virgin, bro. Man. Yeah, yeah, I ain't seen no the Earth. Where the selfies with the yeah. Earth behind you? They ain't even go. <laughs> they just went up high. They just went up high. They ain't even go and landed Joke. mad hard. So you saw how hard they landed. <laughs> so you literally supposed to deliver packages for a living. Son. I think it's one more real talk. Be honest with you. Show, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. Somebody got ahead. I don't think they was up there. I don't think they went there. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think so. they was up there. I didn't go to space. Bro. I didn't nah, go to space. Right, so, so you know what's I'm funny? You, you know what they you. did? They just went up a little bit and then it was nighttime and we didn't know the difference. Nah, bro. If you just in the sky at nighttime, it. that's space. Nah, I think they rented it. They kept out looping it. They kept looping it. Say what? They kept looping it, making it keep going all the way up. So it looked like they kept Cause the shit don't make no sense. You would go all the way up in space, yeah, but then just drop down in a parachute. Yeah, you get naked and put it by the pussy, but don't put it in. Yeah, teasing. Yeah. You're teasing. Like if you're already going up that high, you might as well go. Yeah, take the virginity. Yeah, I think they was in a studio or some sort. I'm gonna be honest with you. Cause yeah. who? Why are there no selfies with the Earth behind you? Yeah, and also why do they have that? Why they bring that little ass kid? Did you hear what happened with that? No. Like they had this 18 year old go up with them because the guy who initially like uh, won the seat. Oh yeah, yeah. He gave he. He, he was uh, busy. He had a scheduling conflict. The fuck you had to do? That's what I want to know. The he, fuck he, you had he, to he do instead of go to space, that's motherfucker? What he hey, but once again, stay out of rich people's business. <laughs> so that's a big dick move right there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, Tuesday? Oh, y'all going Tuesday? <laughs> Shit. That's what I'm saying. Damn, we don't know, this, this, whoever this, I was supposed to go to the bottom of the ocean on that's Tuesday, what I'm saying. man. <laughs> fuck. This dude had $28 million to drop on a seat in space and then said, Oh, I can't make it. I got a scheduling. Uh -uh. Wow. Keep the give me a filler. Keep, keep the deposit, bro. Fill, Send a little 18 year old up there. That's nuts, dude. I need to know who that guy is. Bro. I need to know who the so, fuck so he is, and I need to know what he was doing. So you tell me back in the day, all these years, and you know, they was able to get up there, and now they can't get up there with all these guys with all this fucking money? Yeah. Did they what now? All these years back in the day, they talking about they went to space and all this type of shit. Yeah. How the fuck these rich motherfuckers can't get up there? They no. got more money, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that's the point. I think they've sent satellites to space, not humans. No, I think we had humans in space, Charlotte. The reason yeah. I say that is because when you watch, watch the watch the MTV shit with the guy on the moon. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then watch Buzz Armstrong. This is just racism. Moon. You're not used it's to white people shit. jumping that high. If if it was, <laughs> no, this is racism. If it was some black astronauts, you'd be like, yeah, I, I can see that happen. Sense, though. <laughs> but these white people jumping six feet in the air, you're like, fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> Ain't no moon landing, dog. This is bullshit. It just, it, it, I've it, been it, telling y'all this for years, yo. You what? think? The same shit. Really? No, I think they put satellites up there. I don't know if any. I don't, nobody been up there yet. No, nah, that's not true. Because... Well, listen, I'm going to tell you something. I have a theory that we are the- Oh, you said put, they put satellites up there. You know what I I thought you said, they puss asses went up there. No, I man. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, what the fuck you said? 
That sound like that's Geechee right there. <laughs> man, them pussy ass, <laughs> what, them pussy pussy ass, ass. wasn't up there, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I said, no, they put satellites up there. I just, I, 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 I think that we are the least intelligent life in all of the universe. Come on, yo. Earthlings. There's less intelligent life here on Earth. What do you mean? Uh, fish. Oh, no, I'm talking about like, I'm talking about, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Our combined IQ. No, I mean like human y. Hum- guys. Oh, okay. People with brains and Every, Everybody got brains, bro. Monkeys got People that can have babies. Well, us, humanoids. We're just animals, dog. We're just We're monkeys, definitely just dog. animals. Yeah, we are. are. We're the smartest monkeys. Well, I think out of our species in the whole universe, we're the least intelligent, which is saying a lot. Our species only exists here, bro. <laughs> you don't think there's another like humanoid version? You think you can go to yeah, a different planet? They got Puerto Ricans? Yeah. Might be. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. What's the what's the uh, planet that's full of gas? What, uh, Pluto. Oh, Saturn? That's where the Puerto Ricans are at. <laughs> Why? Because that's the car they drive? <laughs> 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 I don't know nothing, baby. Come on. Oh, wax. <laughs> That's right. Don't you, Wax's fiance is Puerto Rican. She knows. Oh, no, she know. But They're very loud. Because you think about it, right? Mm-hmm. We have had unidentified flying objects. Yep. They just had a whole thing uh, in Congress about a month ago where they presented all the information they knew about it. They didn't rule anything out. They yep. didn't rule out whether it's extraterrestrial. They didn't know what the fuck it was. Mm-hmm. We're not doing that no other planet. Mm. That shit's happening here. Mm. But we not going nowhere else, as far as we know. Well, we went to the moon. We went to other places. Allegedly, we didn't have any allegedly, there. bro. Allegedly, man. Look up the look up the moon landing now, bro. It don't look. The graphics could be better. Yeah, it looks like old superhero movies, man. You know, the 80s. Oh, wow. you know what it is. This is what it's like. Uh, there's just so much distance to travel to find something else. It's like if you're an ant. Like, in order to find another, let's say you get separated from your ant colony. In mm-hmm. order to find another ant, you know how long you're going to have to walk, dog? Even if it's just a city avenue. Really? You have to walk your whole life to yeah, do a literally. city avenue, right? Literally. So that's the thing. I think there's just too much space. Why like, do we, we think that about ants, though? Because it takes so long to go. Well, we're not on the ground. Say what? We're not on the ground, so, so we don't know, like, like what they see. Like, we... I understand what you're saying, but they really might be really next to each other. We don't know. No, no. There are ants next to each other. I'm saying if one got just separated. Just to get down the street, it'll probably take. A year. T- a year, yeah. So if we live till a thousand years old, we could go super far on these space flights and then probably meet some other people. Take three enough. years to get to Mars. So imagine outside of this galaxy. Obviously, there's nothing in this galaxy. So outside of this galaxy, then you're going to start to meet some other people. And that would take too long to go to, bro. Yeah. For our technology. For our technology. Yeah, somebody yeah, for else. Our te- yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. maybe those other aliens live 2,000 years. Yeah, mm. yeah. Are, are they got technology that gets them there faster? Mm. It's the difference between like racing somebody on a motorcycle versus a fucking scooter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, what's the little street scooter you be riding? Yo, don't, don't disrespect me. Wow. What? Don't disrespect, what? Don't disrespect, don't disrespect wow. my wow. motorcycle. Don't disrespect the high boost motorcycle. Son. You saw that little, you saw that little <laughs> shit that he just started pulling my hands. He got white. He got white. You saw that shit? Yo, you saw that shit? That was foul, bro. What's that's called, what, though? What's that little called? street scooter. He just called my shit a little street scooter, bro. <laughs> what is it? It's a huck cycle. It's a fucking electric motorcycle. Don't get it twisted. My bad, okay? my bad, my bad. God the damn, electric bro. motorcycle. Talking crazy right now. But imagine talking crazy right now, bro. Now if I get in an accident, God forbid, they think I spilled on a little fucking electric scooter on this. This is a real ass bike, bro. But imagine an electric scooter versus a Harley. Like me raising Taylor. Exactly. <laughs> so I think that these other con- these other planets probably got some technology that gets them here a little quicker. If they do, they might have nothing. It might just be the beginning of life over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. life has to begin at some point in time. Yeah. So maybe it's the beginning of life over here. What if we all are bastard children from like some super duper extraterrestrial? I believe it. Like we all the side kids from the side chicks. They come yeah. to Earth, sleep with the you know the Earth Earthling women. Yeah, this is what is that shit in Jamaica where you just fuck people? That mean that means hedonism. somebody was hedonism. Woo. That okay. means somebody was having yeah. sex with my Woo. mom. Yeah, say what? What? No, not your mom, but your great 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 grandma. Yeah, back way back in the day. Oh, yeah, 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 they set it off. Absolutely, hedonism, bro. boy. We had some good times in hedonism. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, we've been there twice. Yeah. How was that? I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. All right, fair enough. <laughs> that was, that was, that's that, what you know it's hey, good. Hey, that was, hey, that was Charlemagne, not Lenard. Ooh. Lenard. <laughs> Lenard. Lenard. Who was that? Huh? huh? 
you are no, right I'm a fiance now. now. I'm a fiance. The same motherfucker. No, no I'm not. You no, the I'm same not. motherfucker you no, are right I, now. Don't do me like that. I'm the same guy I was back then. Yes. Oh my God, bro. Are you serious? <laughs> yes. He said that's that with the biggest T smile to you. Who am I? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> I say, I don't know, man. No Wax way. days have changed, man. Come on, stop, man. I've seen it. I mean, I. I we I don't know if we've seen it or not. We've been in a pandemic. No, I think you're changed, dude. Do you know how out of control I was? Yes. Okay, I was then. there. Dude, what the fuck? How many trips we went on? I ain't do shit. I don't uh, do nothing. Last year was COVID, so that don't count. He said he been favored for two years. Huh? Yes. So you really going? You really been favored for six months? Because COVID is a year, and then six months. Well, this COVID's year, still going on. So I mean, even if I was ever <laughs> even think about something like that, I'm never going to touch nobody right now. It's well, like last time you been with another woman. Uh, before June first, <laughs> two years ago. <laughs> I know the time, the date, and everything. So Memorial Weekend was the last. Memorial Weekend 2019 was the last. Last time I touched another woman. How was that shit? Fire? I can't even remember. And I said, told them the other day, I cannot remember head from another girl, pussy from another girl. I can't visualize shit. What? I can't. I can't. I can't. You like, can't even visualize. I can't visualize. I can't tell you how I felt. Let me I tell you why that's bullshit. Okay. And why <laughs> it don't even matter. Okay. Go ahead. Let me hear. He couldn't. He couldn't remember majority of these women names. To begin okay, with. you're right. So I can't even when tell he was you. Doing it. I can't tell you. His whole phone was filled with stupid shit like yeah. Carmex, uh, Kroger's. <laughs> You know yeah, what I mean? All the places that I've seen the girl at or something. Or well, she had red shoes, brown hair, <laughs> glove on it or something. I knew he was wild <laughs> when, I, when, I, when I saw syphilis and he had it spelled. Uh, like, you he, had, he had it spelled like S-I-T-H-A Felice. I'm like, who the fuck is Sif? <laughs> I'm about to say, you know, I can't. Even, I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> exactly. What? Syphilis? But he had it. <laughs> no, I didn't. I told you I had a yeast infection. You had a yeast infection? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? That's you, it. You got to, I think you need a pussy to have a yeast infection. <laughs> I don't know. I had a yeast infection before. It, you know, it was just In pus, your dick? It was pus coming out of his yeah. penis. This is so long ago, baby. I don't even know why you did this. <laughs> but I had okay, a yeast yo, infection. You, you know how crazy it is? You got pus coming out your penis, but you think it's a yeast infection? Son. That's what the doctor said. The doctor said I had a yeast infection. What doctor did you go to? Huxtable? <laughs> <laughs> Seuss. <laughs> Dre. <laughs> All right. Cliff. McStuffins. <laughs> No, for real, because it was, it was a, me and a couple of my guys, we oh all had God. we all had the same thing. They said that we had put <laughs> out... Yo, come no, on, I'm just saying, we said we put out meat and um, yeast. So evidently the girl had a yeast infection and we all dealt with the girl. You know what I'm saying? So, and you guys, you guys didn't rub her up or nothing? I was like 15, 16 years old. You are big. a liar. <laughs> Yo, what was I at, man? This guy was in his 30s. <laughs> <laughs> his early 30s, late 20s. Where? Why would you laugh like Wait, that? Hold on. That was me. You. Yo, hold on. Where? this guy Where? is crazy. Where was I? I remember when you had the STD. When? You was talking, you was saying it. I, I said, hold on, hold on. Man, was, man you had a 15. conversation about me having an STD. How would I know this? <laughs> I tell, I talk about it all the time. That's my point. You, and this wasn't no 15, 16. So I was in, out of college with an STD. You, this, you was in your 20s, early 30s easily. Come on, stop, man. Stop. <laughs> was I, I at? Like this. I was in college? Huh? Was I in college or no? I don't remember if you it was It was in before college. college. That's no, what I'm saying. No, it was not before college. What the hell I get? Uh, Miami? I went to, uh, right out of college, I went to Miami. And then I came here. I damn sure ain't get shit here. And I damn sure ain't getting nothing uh, in Miami. No, no, no. This was because I remember when he was like, Burning. Burning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, He's going yeah. to the bathroom and be like, oh! <laughs> 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 and, and, and he never used to want to tell me at first, right? So, so I'll be like, you what the fuck going on? He'd be like, ah, oh, some, somebody put some crazy shit in the toilet. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I won't be thinking, I'm like, that. how come every time Wax walk in the stall, somebody, it's somebody else shit in the toilet? Yeah, listen, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then he finally just admitted it like, man, doctor said I got a yeast infection. <laughs> Okay. Oh God, Taylor! How long did you have it? No, no. how long? <laughs> no, I just have a, I just, no, question. No, no, how long and did listen. You have it it because... made me for three days because okay. it took me the balls enough to even hit to my one of my other boys. Like, yo, listen, I think something going on because I woke up the next morning Puss. and I had a mask. Yeah, and that's how you mask. know. That's how you know when a man because 
I hold always on, tell hold, girls. Whoa, whoa, what is a mask? I'm gonna tell you. That's what the doctor. I'm talking. I'm talking doctor talk right now. They got COVID. <laughs> no, I'm talking doctor talk. That's what the doctor said. The doctor said when you ever you get a mask over, so I always tell girls. What's a mask? I'm gonna tell you when it, when you, when the girls you think is pre cum is not go like this man meet squeeze it and go like this pull it up. If it too much come out, this man got a, a, a bus pipe. So you had a bunch of discharge on your pipe. I had a discharge on it. See what I'm saying? So when I go no, to we sleep, don't see what when it leaks, <laughs> no, for real. It's called, a, it's called a bus pipe. So when you sit there. <laughs> no doctor told you this. Yes, it is. <laughs> no doctor would say, hey, you got a bus pipe. You got a bus pipe, bro. Your shit is leaking. That I means you got something wrong with you. I'm so glad you got health insurance now. Because I don't know who the fuck you was going to. That oh, was that you. That you got a busted pipe. Yeah, but that, that's, keep going, I, keep that, going. That, that's what he called it. So, so whenever you do that, you ever see that. So why I'm so wait, you sleep. grab the meat and then you pull it up. If you up. squeeze it up, you'll see too much that's discharged. It came out. Okay. But it's just like pus, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So whatever, when you go to sleep, it's always leak out. You see a draw, it's a little sticky or something, that means you got an STD. So mine, uh, when I went to the yes, bathroom- the STD, yes. Yes, when I went to the bathroom, that shit was pissing all over the place. You know what I'm saying? So I went to call my, yo, who else? They're like, yo, my shit fucked up too. Perfect. Meet me down at the clinic. You know what I'm saying? We all was up in there, got the clinic. And That's why they told you you had a busted pipe, the clinic. You went to the clinic. Yeah. But I'm not going to the doctor. My mama find out. Where was the clinic at? Uh, I think we went to the Tips of Care or something like that. Where at though? What's it was in Jersey. Oh, okay. It was all of us. I don't want to call everybody name out, but it was all of us. Did you guys look kind of gay going in together? No, sharing no. An STD? Not, that, we didn't even know what gay was back in the day. No? No, I really didn't. It was like not too many. We knew them, but it was like we didn't even really like care. It was like it wasn't that. It wasn't like out there. You shouldn't it, care it, now. I, I don't, but I'm just saying like back in the day, <laughs> If you was, you was more like hiding it. Right now, everybody's out. So that's why it's so more of a conversation. Uh, we knew somebody was gay. It was like behind his back, like, oh, you think he's gay? Uh, he always with girls, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, yeah, nah, yeah. yeah. People, people was a lot a lot more intolerant to homosexuality yeah, so back even, then, especially in the hood. So I, yeah, so it was more of this, like, oh, yo, this girl and stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah. So anyway, go get checked, guys. You know what I'm saying? Did they penicillin shot? Doesn't penicillin kill syphilis? What is that penicillin? I forgot do? what they gave me. I mean, you just go and they, they'll tell you. They shoot you. Yeah, yeah you, you don't have to tell them what to give you. Side of my leg. That because you had a never mind. What? <laughs> it wasn't no yeast infection. What? It was syphilis. You had syph? No, I didn't have syphilis. How you know what? How you know the symptoms? You just describe syphilis to everybody. Have you had it? That's what no, I'm saying. I've never had STD in my life. Thank God. God so how yeah? do you know Nothing. what the symptoms is? Huh? How do you know what the symptoms is? I don't. But I promise to God, I'm like, I'm not STD. If I did, I tell y'all. Pull up Google, Google symptoms of syphilis. I was all gonna say the same thing. Nah, Google symptoms of syphilis. That should sound like chlamydia for real, though. Man, it's like your nose running. It could be mad ten different things. That's why. Man, no, man. If pus is coming out your penis, something is. wrong. If bro. your nose is running, it's like five different things, right? Okay, syphilis is a rash. The rash. Yeah, see, you won't no itch. rash. Okay, go to chlamydia then. See, you you don't no, go, go you to pus. No, just, just put pus <coughs> pus out of penis. <laughs> put pus p u s s out of penis, Alex. <laughs> Fuck up my Gonorrhea usually appear within two to five days of infection. However, it may take up to one month. That's what you had, gonorrhea. Male How you going to, what about pain something and burning else? Burning sensation during Do yeast infection for a man. No. Burning sensation during urine. I wasn't. Discharge I, and I didn't have a burning. So that's, you had the discharge. Discharge or pus from not penis. Burn. It was just Maybe yellow, green, or white in it color. It was clear. That may resemble a mask. Yeah, it says that? Yes. I ain't going to read it, but I'm, it said that. <laughs> <laughs> go to what this chlamydia I'm pictures. Go to what this chlamydia pus look like. Uh, Click on that one. Go scroll down. No, go down and, right there. Right there. Alex, right there. Oh, man. So, what does the chlamydia discharge look like? Chlamydia discharge is other yellow in color and has a strong odor. A symptom that nah. co, co occurs with this is discharge. If I had yellow, I tell you, you had I was discharge, drunk. bro. What color go, was go, it? Go to man use infection. Go to man use infection. What color was it? What you are you looking at, dude? What color was the discharge, Wax? You remember? It was clear. What do you mean clear? Nothing was, was clear. You wouldn't see it. No, it was clear for real. Oh, God. No, I ain't had that. What is that meat right nice. there? Man, yeast infection. Wax ain't had no damn yeast infection, man. Dang, Wax had chlamydia or gonorrhea, man. I think you had gonorrhea, bro. How did we even get here? 
What role did we turn down? Baby, I don't know what the hell happened Wax either. STD Boulevard. <laughs> I, I think you, cool. see, you just offered it. Why did I you really say? didn't. What happened? You said something that you knew I had, and I said, that's not true. talking aliens? Oh, dude. Puerto Ricans. Al, get this off of the fucking stage. <laughs> hey, guys. This is, Gosh, this is the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, okay? If you've never tuned in this <laughs> podcast before, this is how this shit goes, all right? Imagine finding out you had gonorrhea from listening to the podcast. Exactly. Like, yo, I got pus in the mask yeah, on my yeah, dick, too, yo. <laughs> I'm sure one of our listeners definitely we woke up the and life, had that pee, that pee thing. I never heard of that. It was out of control. It's just a mask over your shit. It's a mask. You I don't mean? even know about this mask, though. It's a mask, bro. The mask is just a dried up um, pus. So when you pee, the hole is clogged. So it's like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That happens after you fuck sometimes, yeah. though. Like to come, just like, are you supposed to wash your meat? Are you supposed to piss afterwards, right? Oh, I, I think yeah. Yeah. After yeah. you not, if you not though. Yeah. If you not. <laughs> Listen, salute to Meek. Uh, Meek said he wants to make therapy cool for the black community. Dope. That's 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 really dope. Um, I appreciated that because I told Meek a few years ago I think he should go to therapy, and he said he wanted to go. You know, so why didn't he go? Somebody asked me a great question. They say, why do we got to make I, 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 I think he might have went. I don't know if he did or not, but he said he wanted to do like a therapy interview. But somebody said, why do we always got to make things cool in order for people to embrace them? I think that's everything. Yeah, know? everything. Like everything. Everything has to be made cool yeah, for that's... people to embrace them. And, and the person that said it to me, they was like, yo, they said black people. I don't even think it's a black thing. It's a. Mm-hmm. It's a it's a world thing. Yeah. Fuck. Dude. What happened, man? He just <laughs> spilled the Got water a hole over in the jaw. Mic. Spill it on my fucking shirt. <laughs> God damn ah. it. But I think it's a world thing. I think across the world Max, you is have this to... how you were doing it back in the day. He definitely was. Wiping yeah, that mask off. You got you got a fucking yeast infection on your mic. Wiping that mask off. <laughs> I think you gotta make anything cool for people to do it. <laughs> anything. Yeah, it's yeah. just it just becomes the easiest way to digest it and pass along. I mean, that's why they ask. Juvenile and fucking uh, hilarious. Manny Fresh to to make vax that ass up. Vax that ass up. That's why they got Olivia Rodrigo, or whatever, like telling people to wear a mask or whatever it is. They're just like, okay, if we can make it cool, then these kids yeah, will hop on board. Though. Yeah, I wonder about that though. Um, Grazie. I wonder about that. I think that might turn people off, bro. Yeah, because it's like so obvious that they're just trying it's, to. Yeah. yeah. When it comes to pop culture, um, we know it. Yeah, people is. might know you now, but w- will these same kids come out and vote for you? Mm-hmm. And 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 will the the older base that already does come out and vote? Will some of them get turned off by your fucking pandering? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And they not show it, up. They see it a million miles per hour. Yeah, see it, I'm saying. Yeah, and I mean, listen, whatever works, you know, because yeah. because we're sitting here discussing that you got to make you know things cool in order for people to do them. But man, I just think that sometimes, man, some of these issues are way too serious. To make you know cool. what I mean? To, to to make cool. Sometimes you have to just let people know the urgency of the situation. Well, the, it's either like cool or fear. Fear. Or the tactics, yeah. right? It's like, this is the thing that everybody wants to do and you're going to get laid or you're going to meet your husband if you do it. Or it's... You're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> like, Those are the two options. You're going to die. That's right. Basically telling somebody like, hey, this won't help you at all. Do you want to do it? Yeah. Like, no, why would I inconvenience myself? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it needs to be high stakes. And that's the shit with the vaccine, at least. Like, yeah, but they're not making it it as crazy as it sounds with the vaccine. They're not making it seem like life or death. Yeah. It's like, you You get it if you don't. They're not making it seem like life or death. It seemed like, yeah, like, I don't know. They seem, they're making it seem like, they went away. Yeah. They're making it seem like you're inconveniencing everybody. (laughs) Even though you see all of these people die. Yeah. But they still make it seem like you're just you're just inconveniencing people. Get yeah. the shots so we can get back to work. Get the shots so we can start going to these concerts again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get the shots so the world can just... Do you ever act like you got up. it? Like you, you go in certain places, certain environments and stuff like that. Do you ever act like you got the shot too because you ain't got your mask on or whatever the case may no, be? I, always, I wear my mask. Yeah, me too. I mean, I, at certain places, I'll be looking at everybody. I'm like, damn. They've, all everybody talk about they got the shot. And I'll be like, I ain't got the shot, but I don't say nothing. I heard Michael, Michael Blackson said the cold is shit because he didn't lie about having the vaccine. I said, Michael, are you vaccinated? He said, I got the card. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, no, no. Are you vaccinated? I got the card, Charlotte. I got the card. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> that's, the, that's the best answer. That's if fine. you're not vaccinated, I got the card. That's, that's the best. That's the best answer. Isn't that what that means? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, you got the card. I got the card. <laughs> I got the card. I got the card. You got the card too, Alex? Yeah, I'm going to get the card. You don't got the vaccine though. I'm going to get the vaccine. You got the card. Mm. You got the card. Listen, let's pay some bills, man. 
and come back and I want to ask y'all about uh motherfucking um what's his name Taylor ESTG ESTG sparked a good conversation I want to know how y'all egos feel about it uh let's pay some bills all right guys we're gonna take a break for a second pay some bills here um let me tell you something the number one way to keep yourself hydrated don't get a fucking hangover and have a productive day is using liquid IV. As simple as that, okay? It's a powder you throw in your water and then increases the hydration 3X. By the way, it also puts a lot of other good, important shit into your system with that water. It's not like it's just hydration, okay? You're getting important vitamins, important minerals. It is gluten-free. It has no GMOs. It is vegan, okay? It's made with clean ingredients. It has the five essential vitamins that you need. More vitamin C than an orange and as much potassium as a banana. It is healthier than these sugary sports drinks. No artificial flavors or preservatives and less sugar than an apple. This is an absolute no-brainer, especially if you want to make sure that you have a productive day and you are not crippled. And I repeat, crippled by drinking the night before. I just started. This is what I do. I have one while I'm having a couple drinks and I'll have one before I go to bed. I have one in the morning as well. I'm ready to go, ready to be productive and able to party as well. So this is what you can do. You can grab your liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code idiots at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using the promo code idiots at liquidiv.com. That's right. And uh, also today's show is brought to you by Blue Chew. Listen, it's summer camping season. You want to talk about pitching tents? That's right. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. I just told you that. Uh, guys, confidence can take you far in life. It can also help in the bedroom, especially when it comes time to step up to the plate. That's where Blue Chew comes in, all right? Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable tablets and at a fraction of the cost. You can take them anytime, day or night, so you can plan ahead or be ready whenever an opportunity arises, okay? The process is simple. Sign up at Bluetooth.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So no visits to the doctor's office, no awkward conversations, and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. Bluetooth tablets are made in the USA and prepared and shipped direct to your door in a discreet package. I really want to tell all my brothers out there, don't ever get to the point where you get too comfortable and you think that you don't got to put it down in the bedroom with your significant other, okay? We all need a little bit of performance enhancement every now and then, and Blue Chew is that. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, BlueChew.com can help, and we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code IDIOTS at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's BlueChew.com, promo code IDIOTS to receive your first month free. Visit BlueChew.com for more details and important safety information, and we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Let's get back to the show. Church announcements! What you got, Schultz? Hey, uh, the infamous tour, man. Uh, thank you guys so much for getting tickets to all these shows. We're going to be in Omaha this Friday and Saturday, by the way. A few tickets left. Go to theandrewschultz.com to get those. Then we got Charlotte uh, in a couple weekends. And then we are starting these crazy theaters, man. We're really excited. Uh, theaters? Oh, dude, yeah, Big it's crazy. Big doing theaters now? Yeah. Big Hezzy! We were doing some theaters before, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. it, it, now the theaters are open. They weren't open be, uh, yeah, 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 because yeah, yeah. of the pandemic. And, uh, but yeah, these venues are just fucking crazy, man. Like, I mean, just just massive. Like the Dallas, Houston. I mean, it just, it's so cool. It's so cool. Chicago Theater. We're doing two. We added another show in San Francisco as well. Another one in Chicago. You figure out which one you want to go to? Uh, Yeah, you guys got to pull up. We got four at the Orpheum in LA, mm -hmm. man. So, yeah. Uh, Probably LA. When is LA? Uh, when is LA, Al? I'll tell you right now. It's uh, yeah, gotta gotta August. Uh, Give me the October joints. October is when I'm a. I want to pull up the one. You be, you still gonna be on tour in October? I mean Vegas. Ooh. We're doing the Venetian Theater in Vegas. Ooh. When is that? October second. Are we in there? I mean that's gonna be a wild weekend, and that's the only show that we have that weekend. So we're gonna make a whole weekend Ooh. out of it. We could we could have some fun there. That might be the one. Um, we be in a totally different situation now. We can't have too much fun. Oh no, we what can are have you fun. Talking about? We're all. We're what all happens in Vegas <laughs> stays in Vegas. That's man. a goddamn lie. <laughs> Yo, that's Wax got that disease. He don't know what the fuck. No, is. that's <laughs> bullshit. Came right back with. You remember what happened in Vegas? I do remember. Crazy ass. It's not my fault. That was all your fault. What? How is my fault? I get. I mean, yeah, it wasn't all your fault, but there was part of it. It, it is your fault. fault for being a white woman magnet. Yeah. 
right. White women are drawn to wax. Yes. It's weird, like a moth to a flame. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I don't know what to say. It's the truth. I'm going to therapy. Good. No, he really is, though. He's going really to therapy. Going... He goes to couple therapy, too. I'm happy for him. Premarital counseling. Oh, really? Yeah, it is. Do you, you ever do it? I'm like, no, but I, I should and I would. You have to. Yeah. Yeah, why? Just, why? just see what's I don't up. Know, I've never done it. <laughs> <laughs> But you know what they doing? I just just snatching off old band aids and see if it's healed. No, they not. I told you that before. Like the yeah. wound was never healed. That's the problem. You put a band aid over something that wasn't healed. You should have treated it first. You got to right. put some neosporin in there. So is that what she's doing? They, they 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 treating the wounds you right treat now. Treat the wound. That's right. You, that's you, why we hollering and screaming. That's right. You put a band aid over a wound that was not healed. Mm. And so that shit turned pussy and green and it's a mask over it. Mm. And now you got to peel that wound off and on. clean that shit up and then put the band-aid back over and get to a place of real healing. That's where you well, at this, right this now. The second one, the first one was like really bad. And the second one wasn't bad at all. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. It wasn't this bad. The second one was like, I know how to shut up and listen and lose mean I won. And if I won, I'm going to pay for winning. Ah. I learned that. In, in what happened? Like ah. Say that again. <laughs> now, if you win, you want you want to pay for winning, so you need to lose so okay. you can win. That's one of the forty eight laws of power. Uh, you never when ne you never want to win by argument, because if you win an argument, you really didn't win. You lost. You lost. Yeah, yeah. Because the other person's gonna resent you, whatever, whatever. I know. Listen, if, I, if she win, I'm not gonna resent her. But why y'all? But I guess that's the thing. Like y'all shouldn't even be fighting. It's a tag team. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I yeah, think. But that, but that's what I. That's how I come at it. I always want to be a tag team. I'm like, we a party. We against every motherfucking body. We against the dogs. Yeah, but you got to be willing. You know to what I'm saying? Though. Men, are, a lot, a lot of us. I'm not gonna generalize, but a lot of times, men, we want things to be our way. Yeah, you know communication. What I'm, I'm our way communication the too. Women want that too, though. No, no, no. That's our situation. It's the woman's way. Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you case, win, though. listen, we have a structure base. Our shit sucks. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I, so I really, we I, we there to get stepped on. I like We're the base. Struck. I love I love a woman <laughs> structure. That's why with a, my companies, I have women running my companies. Like I love, but my wife runs the house. Yes, Just, great manager. Put, like you talk about build a team around Giannis. Yeah. Build a team around the man. That's it. Yeah. And, and a team that 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 that, that we all complement each other. You know yeah. what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I like. I, that's what it's all I, about. That's the way it should be. Are you saying that women are role players? No, Great, I think I mean, we're all because because to your point, what you said yes. about Giannis, Giannis dropped fifty, it's, but he it's still it. was a role player. When you when you setting them blocks. Yeah, on yeah. the screen, he played his role. He wasn't a role, role player. Role God. player is a role player. Everybody yeah. got that role. Everybody got a fucking the steak, role. The steak got his role. The mashed potatoes got his role. But what's really the sides? The roles. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and some people treat sides like mains. Guys, no, it's, Anita it's really Kopax's good. new book. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Shallow, Shallow Waters, Waters Baby is coming out. This no. is the second second publication from uh, Black Privilege Black Publishing. Lives Matter. What is it? Black Privilege Black Publishing. <laughs> Black Privilege, Black Privilege Publishing. Publishing. And uh, Shallow uh, Waters uh, is about Yemiya, a, a deity in uh, the religion of Africa's Yoruba people, and she's cast into mid 1800s America. And she is meeting up with everybody. Yes. I mean, she is wilding. She's also a mermaid. August like, 3rd. Mermaid. I saw a Reddit it. thread that said, this is the wrong audience to promote books. And I was so insulted for all Why? our Brilliant Idiots massive. Exactly. They think Brilliant Idiots uh, listeners don't read. Now I, listen, Brilliant I, Idiots I listeners are not a monolith. So some of y'all may not read. But a lot of us do. So for those of us who enjoy reading, any book I promote from Black Privilege Publishing is for y'all. I mean, and, and you got audio, so that's what I do now. You yeah, gotta watch this. Great. Yeah, I don't you gotta it. listen to it. You gotta read it. August third, amazing Her, tale. Anita's sister uh, actually read the book, but August third it'll be out. You can pre-order now. Also, make sure you grab Tamika Mallory, State of Emergency: How to Win in the Country mm. We Built. That's uh, available everywhere now. Best-selling book. Um, told you, Comedy Central show, The God's Honest Truth, that premieres uh, September yeah. 17th yep. at 10 p.m. on Comedy Central, executive produced by myself, Stephen Colbert, Aaron Magruder, and uh, my girl Rachel Edwards is an EP as well, as well as showrunner. And just go to theblackeffect.com, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you subscribe to the podcast that we got on the network, man. God is good. And I also want to salute Ad Week. I want to salute Ad Week, and I want to salute CNBC. Ad Week, uh, Ad Week, they did an article on me a couple... A about, about the end of May, um, and the, the headline was America's Next Top Mogul. And um, 
I just appreciated that because they highlighted like all of the things that I would do. I was doing. You know what I'm saying? And a lot, a lot of times people don't, you know, pay attention to that. But the the article is essentially about how, you know, I've created all of these verticals that are empowering other people. You know what I mean? And, mm. and honestly, that's what it's about. That's that's to me. That's just that's the narrative always. That's what I want to do for the rest of my life. I want to be of service to other people. So anything that you see me do is not self serving at all. It is, you know, for the benefit of a whole lot of other individuals. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And CN CNBC, yes. they did an yeah. article this morning um, just announcing that, you know, I'm doing the the show with uh, Stephen Colbert and they talked about my growing media empire and the different verticals. So so thank you, CNBC. Thank you, Adweek, for, for, for highlighting, highlighting that. It felt good. I mean, it always feels good to be Some seen. Some recognition. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, like, we gotta stop acting like it don't feel good to be seen. Yes, yeah. it feels good to be seen. Yeah. Yes. I don't need. It's not like we need validation, but it does feel good to be seen. I do though. We, we do. I mean, I do. Can because, we admit that for once? Yeah, I, I'm doing right now because I have. I've been faithful for two years. Y'all saying fuck that. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not applauding you for what you're supposed to do. I'm, I get it, but come on, if I'm doing it, I'm doing it well. Give me some type of flower. Give and, me one. And I'm the bougie guy who's been faithful for six years. So yeah. your little measly two, catch up. Come on. This All is right? <laughs> <laughs> catch up. All right. But you know how I was I was, though. You can't give me give I don't me three. Oh my god. I know gosh. how you was so much that I don't believe it. That's so bad. But I'm siding with Carla, however it go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. I heard him on the phone earlier. I'm like, you better be, I'm like, yo, you better not be talking to no side chick, bro. I'm telling Carla. And I'm telling. Listen, really? I'm I'm Carla? absolutely telling. You gotta save people. <laughs> Listen, you gotta save people from themselves. Oh. You know what I'm saying? You got a good woman, you got I'm a child, chilling. you know what I'm chilling. saying? You got a beautiful second nothing. son. How would you how would you tell Carla? Carla, this motherfucker cheating. <laughs> <laughs> okay? yeah, his, his name, my phone is really don't tell him. Carla, how soon can you get that late? <laughs> Carla, Why would it would be nowhere. Don't I'm say just his saying, names. Carla, how soon can you get to Miami? Carla, you know where the Roxy Hotel at <laughs> in New York? What's going on? I'm telling you. <laughs> wild boy. I'm not just like, wild, no. wild boy. I'm like, you got to say. a wild boy right here. You got to <laughs> save people from themselves. I'm yeah. not doing nothing. I'm okay. How soon do you think she'd be able to get to the Roxy Hotel? Oh, it all depends on how, how much. How fast Adams go, bro? <laughs> <laughs> How fast, how fast can them Saddams go? <laughs> they, they Alex, Saddams you Puerto Rican? Yeah. How fast them Saddams go? Saddams only oh, came in one color, fast. right? They go fast. Yeah. <laughs> Saddams only came in one color, right? That like champagne, goldish. Yeah. Nah, nah, they got a burgundy. 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 Hold on, wait, hold on. So what would happen if, if you called her and you were like, yo, he's cheating. He's in the Roxy right now. You think she would drive into the city? She was going to drive through the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> right into the coffee door, shop. It's gone. <laughs> we, listen, everybody see who she is. Nobody's going to say nothing. Everybody going to turn it. If she run through the, through the Roxy with the Mind car, they're going to still turn it. Oh, that's wax. Yeah, if yeah. they know I'm upstairs, yeah. everybody going to shut the fuck up. Mind, like they, that's right. They Mind die business. You know what I'm saying? If a girl, your girl runs up on you and your girl tells everybody, this motherfucker was cheating on me, yeah. I bet you everybody will mind it. Shut business. the fuck up. I <laughs> bet you. Everybody will tell her, that's on you, bro. That's on you. I ain't, I ain't got, got nothing to do with that. You know what I'm saying? Nothing. I would appreciate if y'all didn't do this in the hotel, but I ain't got nothing to do with this. I'm telling you, we too grown for this shit. Yeah. At our age. Yeah. Got time grown. for this shit, man. Grow up, man. Grow the fuck up. Grow up, bro. Grow up. No, Stay man. out of Roxy. Up. Hold, don't, don't Stay out of Roxy, bro. Stop, man. Because don't let I go me in the lines. You in the Roxy. Listen. Why are you in the Roxy for what? What are you getting in no, the Roxy? They got good food. They got good food. Yeah, we do meetings over I, there. All I the go time. there. Yeah, I yeah, make yeah. sure they good. You know what I'm saying? It's just the yeah. Roxy's like a second home. Don't just take me. Bro, away I remember from I was staying at the Roxy once, and they got a. There's an older guy that does the uh, the uh, what's it called the room service and shit like that. Mm -hmm. He cleans up, right? And um, I was leaving the hotel, and uh, I was leaving my room, and he goes, he goes, Happy Thanksgiving. And I go, well, I, all right. I mean, it's a little early, but that nah, was like four months before Thanksgiving. I was like, <laughs> so I look at him and I go, uh, happy Thanksgiving, bro. That's that's cool. And I keep on walking and he kind of looks at me confused. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong? Like, you just said happy Thanksgiving say that to me. Shit. I'm going to say happy Thanksgiving to you. That's normal. And then I took another couple steps and I was like, oh, he said housekeeping. He 
He said, he oh, said, I was keeping and I looked right at his face. <laughs> and I said, like, think of it from his Chris, perspective. Chris, is that okay? Think of it. Chris, is that like, okay, Chris? Think of it from his perspective, yeah, right? In his mind, he's like, happy he Thanksgiving. Goes, he goes, housekeeping. And I look at him and I go, happy, happy Thanksgiving, bro. <laughs> he's like, so he, he was just as confused as you yes, were seconds ago. Yes, we traded confusion. This he's like, hilarious. Thanksgiving is four months from now. The fuck you say happy Thanksgiving to me, weirdo? So it's probably, he's probably listening to the podcast and it was like, I always wondered why Andrew told me that. Yes. Yes. Now, you know, now I understand. Come on, my oh guys my in there. God. Everybody in there, man. They hold oh. us down for real. No, I love the Roxy. I met MC Hammer in the Roxy one night, man. Really? Yeah, it, it was when uh, Hurricane Sandy hit New York, and we all had to stay at uh, the, the Roxy, and he he was there, too. And we got into this whole conversation about tech and everything else. And that's really? when I realized how big Hammer was in the tech world. I don't know if people know that. Yeah, but Ham was like a big deal in the tech world. Like he invested in Twitter like super early. Like he's a big player uh, mm -hmm. in Silicon Valley. So, so salute to Hammer. Um, we had uh, ESTG on Breakfast Club. I know you like rap shows. If you never checked the ESTG out, you should. He's dope. He signed to Yo Gotti, CMG. And um, do you have the clip? Yeah, let's play the play the ESTG. Play. What yeah. does that mean? Uh. I forgot what ESTG stood for. ESTG. Did you ask him? I did, but I don't remember what the answer was. Insta. ES. Established. You doing music, you can't really be like that. You got to like. Hold on, let's let me spread. The question. This is the breakfast from the Breakfast Club, and the question we ask: Can you ask your girl to take a pic of you and your favorite artist? Okay, hit it. It be you know when you doing music, you can't really be like that. You got to like. Somebody might want to come take a picture. Like, we just standing outside now. Man, walk up on me with this girl. Like, when we take a picture, like, damn, you want you want your girl to take a picture of me? <laughs> <laughs> like, you can't be like that, though. You can't be like that with people. Because, like, people really be... But I don't be known, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> my friend, that ain't crazy. You don't think that's crazy? That's no. Crazy. Like, I would never get my business yeah. crazy. But then when you think about it, you know, we ride to you all day long. Oh, and man, I would never get my old phone telling me I'd take a picture of me. And nah. <laughs> Uh, you gonna get a lot of that though. I just seen it. I just seen it. I was like, damn, that's cold. You feel me? But so when well, I came well, my birthday, babe, worse, though, if, if she be like, babe, take a picture of me and him, that's even worse. I feel like I'd be like, hey, baby, get in a picture with him. I'm gonna take a picture, y'all. You feel me? Like that's a girl thing. You mean the artist? Like, yeah, my baby, you got the boom. I made sure you got a picture with that nigga. Boom. But imagine somebody never think they're gonna meet you in person, and they happen to run into you, and you like, I'm I got to capture girl, this You got moment. to readjust it. <laughs> I'm with my girl. I'm with my partner. Oh my hey, bro, take this picture. That's cool. Like, I asked my cameraman, like, here, can you take the picture of me? And him? I'm not giving the phone to my my girl. Like, no, I, I see what you're saying. Me and this man. <laughs> no, I see what you're saying. Me and this man's girl take a picture. Come on, you take it. Who's who's, Hell, nah. who's a man that inspires you? Like somebody you see and you like, man, that's. Somebody that inspires me. You got it. Okay, so before you knew God, no, <laughs> no, I'm not trying. no, I'm not doing it. Right, I think, I think I'm my, you got to just my brothers, right? Yeah. Okay, now if you couldn't understand what ESTG I, was saying, I could barely until the end. Yeah, explain. What, it. what he's saying is, if you and your girl are together, yep, and you see a notable figure, somebody that you're into, an athlete, celebrity, politician, whatever, whatever, you can't give your girl the phone and say, "Yo, take a picture of me and this man." Okay. Because he's basically saying that, you know, your girl will be looking like, well, why am I with you? I should be with the person you want to take a picture with. She might not be into that person. Let's, she might hate him. Let's discuss. I, you know, it's, I, it's, it's possible. I see where he's coming at, where he's getting at with it. But yeah. say it was Pops. I Who's Pops? Uh, Pops from uh, Friday. John Witherspoon? Yeah. Yeah, I, if you, if, yeah, you should definitely take that picture. If I, took, I took a picture with him. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But if I was with my you girl. Know God bless the day. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. What happened? Just making sure. Talking <laughs> about to say something wrong about you didn't the say dead. God bless the dead. So God I don't bless know. the dead. R I P. Pops. Yes. Mister. Um, bang bang bang. Don yeah. Is um. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'll, I'll take that picture with him. But if it was somebody like if I like MC but, Hammer. But John, like John, that. John. God bless the dead. He wouldn't be a threat to you because let's be clear. This whole conversation is rooted in fragile ego. Yes. It is. Like, uh -huh. we can, we That's can, what I'm trying to get at. It's right rooted now. in yes. insecurity. Hey, babe, I really admire that guy. But it's nobody I admire like that, so I wouldn't even say it like no, that. No, it's people I admire like that. But see, that's the other thing, too, right? Like, Jesus. I understand where ESTG is coming from, mm -hmm. right? But if you admire that person, your woman probably already knows that. Yeah, but this is assuming your girl, well, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. 100%. And it's, but this is also assuming she might be that, like, excited for you. 
your it, girl doesn't yeah. like you. Like if your girl loves you, she loves you, dude. Like, yeah, if yeah, your girl's yeah, yeah. into you, like yeah, like you ever have your girl be like say some shit to you and be like, oh, you think I'm the shit? Like yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah. realize you thought I was this nice. No, yeah, I'm getting you know, yeah. like uh, what's it called? Um, I don't know. Al was uh, we can't say <laughs> cut what? it, but uh, the thing about <laughs> the the guest pass or whatever it is, the whole pass. oh, you can talk about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, but your girl give you a hall pass out? Yeah, yeah. Boy, so, don't you take that goddamn hall pass. That's a bait. Nah, that's so, a bait, man. Basically, she gave me a hall pass when we first met uh, Rihanna and thinking I'll never meet her. And now ASAP moved into the floor for my studio. And so now she's trying to take it back because I bumped into Rihanna twice already. But she what, thinks she what, thinks what camera is your girl. What camera should I look no, at? But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's what Alex's girl is. No, but that's what so, he's saying. It's like she thinks I'm dope enough to pull Rihanna. Oh, that's what he's saying. So, like, you, when your girl loves you so much, she thinks that you can oh. fuck any girl in the world. Oh, yeah, like, I have yeah, orgies yeah, every yeah, time yeah, I fly yeah. out. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Like, so that so yeah. if your girl loves you that True. much, she's not even thinking about the fact you want to take a picture of that man. She's that's so right. in love with you. She's looking at that man like, wow, how lucky is he? He gets to take a picture with my boyfriend. I'm glad, I, yo, I had the gun off safety ready to kill. Yeah. Son, I know you trust. Tell Alex. Tell Alex. Tell Alex. Put it in perspective. When Alex put it in perspective, I'm like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Yeah. I, right. I, was I know my limitations. Her. I know my limitations. Trust me. You know, it ain't about limitations. No, you never know. It's Rihanna's yeah, limitations. <laughs> Rihanna got a standard. Yeah. I'm not saying that you're not a dope dude, Alex, but it's Rihanna. Yeah. I don't know why. Why can't I? You're right. I'm going to be honest with you. You're right. I'm not. You know what? You're yeah, right. About to say, you I never know. Sure. Yeah, you're right. I seen yeah. some strange shit happening in my day. What's that? Why is it strange? Well, my my whole strange. life was strange. My whole life was strange. strange. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I overachieved in that department my girl. whole life. No, yeah. you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're right. It's a girl, bro. No, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. Ten anybody toes. can get at anybody, man. Listen, yeah, you're absolutely. You never right. know what happened. Maybe her cat no, died. Shit. No, you're right. <laughs> you know, her cat died, and the then died. maybe Rihanna's cat died, and she's yeah. feeling a little down. She wanted a little company. Yeah, yeah. don't, don't you yeah. know? If you hit your toe, you can't really think straight. That's also. She and girls hit her always toe. hitting their foot on something. They could have hit her foot right on yeah. something, and then you could have been the first person that she saw. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Or you might make her actually feel loved and appreciated yeah. and valued. Probably ask her how her day was going. Nobody That's right. ever asked That's her. right. You might make her laugh. You know what I mean? You yeah. might have deep conversation with her. You know what I mean? Like anything. You never know. I've seen some. Yeah, man. Yeah. I've overachieved in that department yeah. in my life. She could also think you're ludicrous. <laughs> that, that also could work. That might be most likely. When I move, you move. That could be most likely. When I move, you move. <laughs> When I move, you move. Just like that. But no, listen, I, I, I understand what ESTG is coming from. Yeah. For sure. But it's ego. Yes. You gotta be, it's, 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 it is what it is. It's, it's, it's fragile ego and it's insecurities. Because I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't been in certain situations. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it might be a, it might be a guy that, you know, you're, you, you've heard your girl say is attractive. Like, a, you know, an artist or some shit yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck all that. Yeah, that's right. Nah. And when I see him. Fuck all that. But that's what I don't this understand. Fresh, but listen, fresh. you know, that's what I don't understand. Yeah. You know how many guys came to me and said, "Hey, yo, my girl want to have sex with you. Oh, my girl like you. Whack, don't take a picture with it." I'm like, "No, nah, that's stupid. Nah, that's that's the, them the type of niggas ESTG talking about. Yeah, that's that's, weird. that's wow. crazy. That's and she was all excited to have, take a picture and stuff with me. And I'm like, that kinda... is ridiculous. What's going on? Let me see. We got to set up Taylor from AOL. AOL. Hey, is there a difference? I don't understand. What, what? Tell me. What about him? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I was talking about one of our homeboys, and I used to always be like, yo, stop being so hyped when you around Diddy, bro. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I used to tell you to be too hyped. But, but, what? Yeah. You just used to be too hyped around Diddy. Like, why are you so like, yo, relax, yo? Because I think that that's a turn off. If I was, if I was Diddy, I'd be like, yo, this dude is like, yo, you too extra yeah. around yeah. me. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, nobody wants the extraness around him. Because to be y'all point earlier about people like Rihanna and them, they want to be treated regular. Yes. Yeah. They just want to cool out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Their life it. is that already. That's right. Like, yeah. you know, the dude, D Diddy's right there sitting around. Like, you don't got to start Harlem shaking and, yeah. you know what I yeah. mean? Just randomly humming, all, all um, did, I'll be missing you. Shit. Like stupid shit, you know what I mean? Like, yo, anybody got some Ciroc? I love some Ciroc right now. Come on, Jesus, some Ciroc. I got to tell what the fuck, what's up, bro? He tried it. Ciroc <laughs> like, shirts. You know what I mean? Like, stupid shit. He's wild. Like, yo, yeah, yeah, man. 
Yeah, I agree. Artists don't deserve no money. Like, what the fuck? Like, this dumb shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just stupid shit. Like, like calm down, bro. Yeah, just breathe. be regular. Yeah. Breathe, man. Yeah. That's all. That's all. And not breathe, stretch, shake. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I get it. It's just rooted in insecurity. Did you see Tom Brady? I guess we're in the shit you won't care about next week. Did you see Tom Brady at the White House, yeah, bro? Yeah, funny. That shit was scripted as fuck. Yeah, of course. He had written jokes. That shit yeah. was corny. Why? It's funny. You the goat. What do you want him to do? And it sounded like the White House staff wrote him. Yeah, but he's the goat at football, not at public speaking. <laughs> what do you expect from this guy? The guy gets hit in the head and concussed for a living. I'm surprised he remembers anything. <laughs> this is silly. And he, he, he gave it away because he, he he said the thing about whatever. Oh, Biden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the 40%. Before he even got the punchline off, he was already looking at Joe like, yeah. now you got to laugh because when the president laughs, everybody else will laugh. Yeah. Then he turned around and gave Joe a shot to about sleepy time. I'm like, oh, man, get the fuck. Come on. Is it supposed to be funny? Hello? You're not supposed to laugh, but you're supposed to laugh because it's corny. Yeah, it's corny. It's I'm the seventh time Super Bowl champion. You're lucky I'm even here. Don't <laughs> fucking write me no stupid ass jokes to tell. I'm Tom yeah, fucking show, Brady. You should have wrote them shits. I would love to have written him some jokes. They'd be a little different. And I'm if sure. you're going to snap, snap. You, 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 you snap jokes for like presidents that are cool. Right. Yeah. That was Barack. You snap. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump. You don't like yeah. Biden? <laughs> no. It's like, why? Who cares? Like, well, y'all voted for him. I did. I voted for Kamala, but you know, you voted. I voted I to get Trump out. Yes, I yeah. think most people did. I vote, yeah, and I'm. I'm always. I'm gonna vote my interest from here on out. If if the vote counts, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean. I don't know what's gonna happen with that. You know, but we, <clears throat> we shall see. Uh, what else we got? Oh, rest in peace, Biz Markie, man. Biz, man. Oh, wow. man. Yeah, man. Rest in oh, peace, Biz Markie. Oh, baby, Marky. you. That was a, that, Biz, Biz was a brother who always led with love. I never saw Biz yeah. in a bad mood ever. And Biz was one of those people, he make you feel seen and special. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Last time I saw Biz, we was in Charlotte. We was in Charlotte. It was NBA mm -hmm. All-Star Weekend. Yeah, cause that, yeah, that was the weekend I interviewed. I remember I interviewed Allen Iverson and... Russell Westbrook and Joel Embiid, and we was walking down the street, and Biz was standing in the street. He, he actually po I, he actually posted that on his Instagram. I, I saw it the other day. Somebody sent it to me. So rest in peace to Biz, man. He was a really, really good brother. I never yeah, got a chance yeah. to interview him either. But it was weird because he would all he would always hit me and envy up, hit our phones, and just you know talk about certain stuff. But he, I don't think he he never did Breakfast Club. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Really good dude though. Yeah, R.I.P. Man. Yeah, bro. That was sad. What else we got? What else we got? What do you think about the uh, like uh, LA mask mandate that's about to pop off? I don't think they should have ever stopped the mask mandate. Yeah, for real. Really? No. But why? <laughs> Too early. Because people still got COVID. Only the people who didn't get vaxxed. Man, no. people, even two getting vaccinated, you can still get COVID? Yeah, but not as much. And people it, saying and that, but well, two people I, I know got, that had got it, got COVID right now, and they had got the That's vaccine. right. Yeah, but it doesn't kill you. Your body can cope but, with it much. Easier. One of Duval's partners got double vaxxed. And got hospitalized last week. Same and I think that's the next still. thing we're going to hear from the CDC. Which vax? I don't remember which don't one it was, which but one you got two is. of them. Yeah, but I guarantee yeah. you in the CDC going to say, look. He'd it's probably not, be dead. If he might, exactly. It. Yeah. It's not fatal, but you could still be hospitalized, have yeah. severe symptoms, whatever, whatever. But they should have yeah. never told people stop wearing masks, stop social distancing. Too early. Like, nah, see, you nah, got to stop man. that shit, bro. Come on. <laughs> Dude, that yo, shit people out, still dog. getting it. So what do you mean stop nah, it? Y'all are getting it. The ones who didn't get the vaccinations no, are getting it. I just told you. you. Yeah, but we're not dying from it. The but whole, you can still the pass is it people, is what I'm saying. Yeah, pass it to who? The yeah. only issue is us passing to someone who's not vaccinated. And if you chose not to get vaccinated, you're choosing to risk dying. So that's on y'all. If y'all die from COVID, that's on y'all. What if, if you about okay. die from the vaccine? I take that risk. So that you can go out. Okay. I take that risk so you can go to dinner. You're welcome. If there was a cure, hello. If there was an actual well, cure you. for It'd HIV AIDS, an actual cure mm -hmm. for herpes, they have a not cure for AIDS. They have a thing called prep. The treatment. Yeah, the treatment. It's not treatment. They have a thing called prep. So they yeah. have like a blocker for it. Now, if you choose not to take that every single day and then just fuck random people who may have AIDS, well, guess what? All of those people still wear condoms. The only reason we rubber up is because we're worried about getting girls pregnant. If we yeah. knew they no, couldn't get not. pregnant. No, it's not. It's for STDs. No. no it's for babies. STDs? Come on, man. You are wild, Yeah, bro. the STD is child support. Child support. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you had that shit coming out your dick and didn't know what it was, was right there. I was fucking 15. Now you're a liar. 
Anyway, listen, point is, you still gotta wear condoms. Says who? The CDC. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> All but right. we don't do that shit. We I, I don't off. think nobody in here wore a condom in the last five years. I mean, let's be honest. No, I'm married. With children. Well, maybe you. First of all. Maybe you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> Got, what you I did. I like Got to, an STD. You know, I would just like to point out, yeah. Wax posed a statement to talent. <laughs> 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 that statement was for talent. Okay. Damn, bro. That's all. Damn, yo. Charlotte's that's why, a bully. No. Bro. That's why Alex bully, and Angelo bro. didn't say yo, anything. Give, give, <laughs> give Taylor back a mic, yo. Reddit, start the thread. Give Taylor back a mic. Give Taylor back a mic. Come on, yo. Come on. Taylor the God. Taylor the God, bro. <laughs> This fucking like no. Nard McKelvey guy's a no, dork. It's Taylor. It's Taylor. It's Taylor <laughs> the god, yo. Comma. Parentheses. <laughs> so Schultz is trying to start a chant. Nobody chanting with him. Yo, listen. <laughs> listen. Taylor. 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 Woman, if you don't start chanting your own goddamn name, the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Tearing this podcast apart without your support. Oh, <sighs> you gonna shoot the half court shot or what? Shoot it, yo. You get free pizza. <laughs> 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 if you make the shot. <laughs> 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 if you make this shot, Taylor, you get free pizza. <laughs> why did do, why did you wear condoms in the last year? Come on, no, I did wear condoms. I know. That was a, yeah. I said I had. He said no one else had. Why would you be wearing condoms? What do you mean? Why wouldn't I? Why would you be wearing condoms? Oh, that was I the whole y'all. point. Why do you hate us? Wait, but that's wait, what I was talking about. I might hate him too. Why? What? How would she wear a condom? All right, you got it. Great. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. Girls can't wear condoms. Yeah, and that's oh, why I, I said nobody you see else grabbed it. Pray for Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> see? See? Yeah. Taylor said, I don't wear condoms. She could wear them. <laughs> <laughs> or, or her toes. Her fingers. You know what, Taylor? Yeah. You can wear them wherever you want. Make some little earrings. <laughs> little Durex earrings. <laughs> Magums. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pay some bills, man. Oh my god. Oh shit, dude. Oh man. Oh baby, you. You, yeah. you got what I need, and you say he's just a friend. Oh, and you say yeah, he's, he's just, just a friend. friend. Oh baby, you. You yeah. got what I need. And you say he's just a friend. <laughs> yeah, I'm that, country, that's a whole yo. white boy. <laughs> I'm country, hey, yo. I was in Nashville this weekend, man. I wasn't, man. I'm going to pay these bills and tell y'all about oh, Nashville, Nashville, man. Nashville's Listen, fire. See, that's white Nashville, people's man. Atlanta. It's it, yep, yes. Yep, 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 yep. Nashville is white people's Atlanta, bro. Yeah. Them white yeah. people be having a ball. They twerk Damn right. What? <laughs> Way less gay yo, people. I had no idea. Way less gay people, though. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, I'm sure. Atlanta's just the gayest. Probably. Say what? Atlanta's the gayest in San Francisco, right? Yo, Nashville, yeah. the, 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 what's the word? The correlations between Nashville and Atlanta. It's crazy. It's, yo. It's white people music. White, it's, it's, white it's yeah, exactly. Music. Yeah. Atlanta's hip hop. got dunks and Nashville's shit. country. What but then you hear a lot of hip hop in Nashville too, though, especially on them party buses. When what the party buses be going cars? by. They got the big dunks and stuff like that. Nah, that's like trucks and shit. So. The, the, the most notable vehicle I saw in Nashville was the party buses. Yeah, the party buses. They be on them party buses 24 yeah. hours a day. Big girls. Having cycling. a ball. Yeah. Man. Nashville, Nashville's definitely white people's Atlanta. Yeah. All right, let's pay some bills. Um, Cushy Dreams, y'all. Salute to Cushy Dreams. Thank you for sponsoring the Brilliant Idiots podcast, man. Right. We know the world today is nuts, and just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable, and that's where our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dream specializes in high-quality, smokable CBD. And CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief, okay? And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away, so you don't have to wait long for the effects, all right? Cushy Dreams, extraordinary CBD-rich hemp flower, comes in eight 
eight ounce cans and pre-roll joints. It is cannabis that ships directly to you and directly to all 50 states. They offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. I don't know if this is a good thing, but I'm really at the point where I can't even sleep without really CBD. I got to do it, bro. Like it, it just calms you down. It calms me the fuck down. Yeah, I, it just does. I have to do it. You know, I don't know what it is. It's just like my anxiety just be like, and it, it's, 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 it's good anxiety. Then good anxiety can turn to bad anxiety. But it's just like CBD just takes the edge right yeah. off. You know what I mean? Because if I do the THC, which I also like to do, it sometimes causes panic attacks. You know what I mean? Yeah. Unless I do the right dosage of the edible. So that's 10 or less for me, 10 milligrams or less. But whether you want to smoke beautiful bud or pre-rolls, Cushy Dreams has you covered. Their popular pre-roll joints are rolled in organic hemp paper and feature an even slow burn. And pre-rolls are now available in five packs. With Cushy Dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD. And now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com. That's K-U-S-H-Y Dreams.com. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off the day. Show to you want to tell us about Liquid Death? Bro, I'm telling you, this is the best water in the game. This is no brainer. Liquid Death. The best water in the fucking game. Matter of fact, Taylor, would you be so kind, since now you are a full-fledged uh, producer, to grab us a cup of Liquid Death waters? I, I love you that. so much. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Um, but yeah, liquid death is, is unbelievable. Murder your thirst. I'm telling you, I love the still water. The sparkling water is great as well, but it's in a can. I know it sounds crazy that in a can can make such a difference, but there's nothing more refreshing, refreshing than having a cold can of something. It also forces you to finish it because you can't just put the top back on and just leave it the fuck around. You're being more hydrated. It is the best solution for water. I'm about Damn. to bust a can open right now. Um, the water is hundred percent mountain water from the Alps. None of that processed tap water shit that most of the bottle brands use. Thank you. Uh, it is purified, okay? It has minerals. We mean electrolytes. Not that just good for you, but are there to murder your thirst instantly. And death of the plastic. If you actually care about the environment, you don't want to be using all these plastic bottles, use the can. Make it happen. So for anybody that wants to try out Liquid Death, you can get two free koozies with your first order of any case of water at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Just hit up, their mer hit up their merch store, add the koozie two-pack that you want, and you'll get it for free with your first case only at liquiddeath.com slash idiots. Go get that shit for now, okay? All right, um, guys, let's get to some asking idiots. Are we? Do we have it from Reddit or what? Oh, yeah. No, this. Taylor. It's sparkling water. You know what my daughter calls sparkling water? What's that? Spicy water. Spicy <laughs> water. <laughs> my five year old be like, this is that. She like that period. She be like, I want the spicy water. I want the spicy water. I want the spicy water. <laughs> That's good. TDD. Come on. Ask an idiot. Remember, we were going to have a Reddit section. Well, what do we have for that? We have asking idiots. Okay, that's cool. I'm cool with that. I'm not mad. You know what I mean? I'm just making sure. You know. Um, what do we got here? Mike Twenty One Morales. What do you guys think about swinger couples if they're married? I, I think that shit is weird, but at the same time, I haven't been married for twenty years, so I can't say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was um I when I was judge. in Nashville this weekend. Salute to my dude Bobby Bones. Uh, Bobby Bones got Congratulations, married this brother. weekend, and I was actually. Having a conversation with a with a swinging couple. I mean, it, you know, it, I guess it the guy wanted you to crack his wife's cheeks. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> they was just, they was just, just break her back. I, mean, I met a bunch of swinging couples in my life. Like it's that is well, with the hedonism. That's all they guys asking me to fuck yeah. their wives. Or just bond to fuck I'll your give wife. Fifteen hundred dollars. Fuck my wife. If, if uh, to sleep with my wife and let me watch that type of shit. Yeah. And they beat off while they're watching. I, don't I mean, know I what didn't do it. Doing. I wasn't. I didn't do it. You wouldn't do it for fifteen hundred. I mean, when watching, though. Bro, I used to do a whole weekend of shows for $1,500. I definitely <laughs> fucked someone's life. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I remember while we was on the balcony, and, and, and it, pretty woman walked by, like, yo, what's up? And come up here. She was like, I, she was like, I definitely want to come up there, but let me go get my husband. I'm like, we good. You know, what I mean? we, guy, yo. you know, we came here for a, 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 a good time, not a long time. <laughs> All right? Jesus, bro. No, that was bro. Man. Neither do I. Yeah, I just felt yeah like that means don't you don't want to stay, you don't want to go to jail. Um, jail? Why would we go to jail? 
Mm-hmm. I know people say that. I've been here for a good time, not a long time. That means I'm not trying to stay here. You know how people say I go on vacation, leave on probation? Yeah. Same thing. Huh? I don't know, man. <laughs> it makes sense if you think about it. Well, yeah, I don't. I mean, listen, to each his own. Like, I don't, I, you swing a couple is a swing a couple. That's what yeah. they do. This is a good one. Dark Skin Romero. Uh, what song after uh, you really understood the lyrics, you was like, I'm not listening anymore? <laughs> mm. Charlemagne said a song today. I was like, "What the fuck? They really said that shit." <laughs> yeah, which oh, what? one? Which song you said in the car? And I was like, I didn't even know Shaggy said something. And I was like, "What it wasn't the me. fuck?" <laughs> I know you caught me in the shower. It wasn't yeah, me. Yeah, it wasn't uh, me. Da, 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 I, I'm always yeah. You doing the exact same thing it I do. Wasn't me. And then, 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 then. Yeah, I don't know the words. <laughs> Thank you. So he said the words, words early. I was like, "What the uh, fuck?" I never made the words up. You did. What were the words? We were having a con. We was riding over here and. Taylor was having this whole conversation. You know, she can't see herself with a guy guy because she's particular. And I said, well, what about you? Is your house clean? Right? And I was just saying, like, go home and look at your bathroom. Right? And if your tub's dirty, if your toilet's dirty, if your sink's dirty, you're probably not ready to be married. Wow. And then I was singing and I was like, um, she didn't I really need to that was the show. It wasn't me. <laughs> and I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking this is so you can tell me anything. I don't know the words. I do what shows do. And then it, it was me. No, 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 no. It wasn't, wasn't me. me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next words? I don't know. <laughs> Nobody know that word. Nobody know that song. Yeah. Yeah. Someone with the dirty little girl next door. That's not what it was. Keep I, going. I, this next one. Nobody she knows. Didn't even clean the shower. Oh, it, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. Then the little. Wait, was it? It's another part. The little dirty girl next door. No. Uh, what was it? But what's another one after shower? She didn't even clean the shower. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. She, she didn't even do the laundry. Power. It wasn't it me. Mean. What? She couldn't pay for. She couldn't pay for her. She power. couldn't even pay for power. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't <laughs> me. She didn't clean the shower. It wasn't me. She couldn't even play for. Pay. Why are you showing me the real lyrics? We know the real lyrics. <laughs> I really don't know the real lyrics. <laughs> Taylor is unbelievable, yo. Taylor is unbelievable, yo. I, Taylor, I got one for you. Taylor's my elite as a producer, bro. <laughs> elite producer. The Phoenix Suns needed Taylor last night. <laughs> they needed somebody that was not scared to shoot, <laughs> even under pressure, <laughs> even with all the odds against him. <laughs> she didn't even clean the shower. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. She didn't even pay the power. It, it wasn't, wasn't me. me. What song? What song? After you really understood the lyrics, she was like, "I'm not listening." And there's not a song that I'm not listening to no more. But I mean, there's so many songs from the '90s. I'm like, "What the fuck?" Was yeah. Yo, yeah, Al tried yeah. to tell me that that there's a, a Prince lyric where <laughs> he says he smashed his sister, bro. And it's it was Eminem. Just, That's all Eminem li- lines. Though. No, but this is weird. Like he's, I don't know. I thought it was fake. I thought somebody did it and like did a kind of like Prince voice. Uh, so Eminem is the white Prince. Okay. I was only 16, but I guess that's no excuse. My sister was 32, lovely and loose. She don't wear no underwear. She says it only gets in her hair and it's got a funny way to stop in a juice. Oh my goodness. My sister never made love to anyone else but me. She's the reason for my uh, sexuality. She showed me where it's supposed to go. A blowjob doesn't mean blow. Incest is everything it's said to be. What prince is that? Like Prince Prince? That's yeah. what he's saying, bro. How is this not I mean, bigger? It could be a stepsister. Because that was the, a different <laughs> yeah. era. What year? Did, that's true. Hold that, on. No, that's a good point. Oh, Yo, Wax is a, a fucking point. genius, <laughs> son. <laughs> Yo. Like a great point. Yo. You're a genius, B. Oh, shit, shit, I was only 16, but I guess that's no excuse. My sister was, was 32. 32. Double down. Man, listen, but it was so many. That's why. Oh, I'm... sister, don't put me on the street again. Oh, sister, keep going down. Oh, sister, don't put me on the street again. Oh, oh sister. Oh, sister. That's the, that's the song? Don't put me on the street Thank again. You, Oh, oh sister. sister, that's not it. I just want to be your friend. I oh sister, I know well, what this you want Sheila? me to do. <laughs> oh sister, you see the reason I'm not even gonna get go down this rabbit hole right. is because yeah. the '80s and '90s had so many, and the early 2000s. It was so many songs like that mm. about that kind of content. I don't even need that y'all was going digging on. up shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Trying to cancel artists for shit that was going on. <laughs> Wait, is this right really here. the song, Al? It's really Prince. I was only 16, but I guess that's, no that's why you can't hear him, because it's wild shit. You sure that's Prince Prince, man? No, this is Prince Prince. Some reason. Yeah, this is Prince. 
Do y'all understand? Say the funny way of stopping the juice. It sounds like ESTG to me, bro. ESTG hard. I could have made records back in the day. Well, God bless, God bless Prince that he's not here and don't have to deal with any backlash to song. Son, that is crazy. Who's his sister? It's really not that crazy, bro. Were you hear this? You hear the sister line, bro? What the fuck did you just do, dude? That was repulsive. Yo, son, holy shit! I spit some some mucus in the liquid death, bro. That I want to throw up. I'm not going to drink it. Just swallow. It's already in your no, mouth. No, why am I saving it for? What? Y'all save y'all phlegm? But did you finish no, the water? No, you don't have a place you for it. You have the water like a yet. Half water, half phlegm. I don't phlegm. want the spicy water. God damn, Charlamagne. I like still water. But no, it is very crazy. That lyric is crazy. But what I'm saying is that was the time. We got to start putting things in context of the time. Yeah. yeah you know man. what I mean? Yeah. But that to that to that to the point, what song after you really understood the lyrics, you was like, I'm not listening to that anymore. You Merlin know I mean? Manson. It's a lot of it's a lot of songs like that, bro. It's a lot of songs like that. Uh, David Bosper, would you rather never get off again or come every minute for the rest of your life? Definitely. Come on, David. Come on, you ain't got no legs. You gonna be done. Come on, David. Fall asleep all the time. Yeah, David, you're a wild boy. <laughs> come on, so stop it. Stop come it. on, David. Like what? Well, Think why? about it, man. Why? I'm not ever giving up my right my my right to come. Yeah, but every come minute, on, bro. Dude, you have to. You can't every do that. minute. What? You every gonna bust minute? in every minute? Can't you even can't hang out live, with his daughters. Man. Oh, they mean, never be oh, able to hang out with yeah, your daughters again. You can't, we can't have no friends. Oh, yeah. they, oh, they mean like just busting. Yeah, you out here busting, just walking around busting. <laughs> Son, you would have busted how many, how many times here? Yeah, seventy-five nuts already by this podcast, shit, bro. I'm gonna create a diaper. I'm gonna create like this. Late but you still gonna have diaper. the face. You gonna huh? have the face. You got to put mask on and glasses. Somebody see your face. Yeah, every minute yeah. is wow. Yeah, bro. you can't. You can't even do donkey today without going. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't get up no more your legs gonna be weak as hell nah bro that's crazy dude. fuck that list you get in a fight with some dude you start busting nuts in the middle of the fight well, well you ain't gonna be somebody like going to fight you like fighting more than fucking ooh I said that yes, I don't you know did. I was just kind of going with it you did <laughs> that sounded like fighting more than that's fucking that's what you said you said you, you said you get off more with fighting you get more pleasure in fighting than fucking cause I'm helping people I mean I'm helping people with both but I'm saying like I was I'm really like disciplining somebody, trying to get them to go do You're better in life. Hmm? You're a masochist. What's a masochist? You would have made a lot of money back in the day spanking. You could still make a lot of money spanking old white corporate men. For doing some dumb shit? No. If I listen, no, listen no, to whatever. Me, T- call, them, just, call them dumb if you want. They probably turn, get turned on. Listen, I'm just saying, call listen, long, long as they sit there. Tell me I'm dumb, wax. If, if I could do a freebie, and I, like, it's like somebody go They would love to not pay you. No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> say this, I see somebody stealing it's old lady purse. much more intimate if, you, if they don't have to pay you. <laughs> no, if, I, if I'm stealing, like if I see somebody stealing old lady purse or something like that, that's a freebie to me. I get to like do them dirty. Thank them. And there's something with you. <laughs> <laughs> there's something else going on. <laughs> something else got to be going. You too excited for me to beat this old white man up for stealing lady purse? Oh man. Uh, ooh. Would you give everyone in the world a million dollars or the feeling of being content? That's from Same World, New Order. I think we can end on this one. Um, I think the feeling of being content, I really do. I think the feeling of being content, if everybody got peace, if everybody could have peace of mind, if everybody could be anxiety free, if everybody could not have insecurities, if everybody could really feel content, Bro, I don't think there's I don't I don't think there's a dollar amount you can put on the feeling of being content. The world wouldn't be good though because you need a balance. You need to have the bad and the good. So if you have do all you good, though? Or do yeah, we you just, have all or good. That's something that we good. just say because we have no choice but to deal with the bad anyway. No, because there's a lot of guys, a lot of kids I know that grew up with privilege and stuff like that. They have to get the balance of trying to be bad just so they can feel complete. A lot of people that ain't that don't that is not privilege. They try to go. To the good side, just try to get balanced. Well, you, so. you're, you're, you're a pastor's kid. Yes. What's the point of heaven then? Because heaven is going to be all about peace and. But you still that's and that's why we go through our trials and tribulations right now to be right till we go up there and then have forever lasting. You know what I'm talking I about? I think you so. can have heaven on earth if yeah, every, respect. If if everybody was content with the situation, that you'll never know what good is if you ain't go through the bad. So they never true. feel it. But I, I think that's a difference between I think it's a difference between good and bad and just like discontent. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I think sometimes when you have a lot of discontent, it causes you to do bad things that you may not do if you were content. Or yeah, good things. For sure, for sure. 
It just causes sure. you to to yearn for change, and sometimes yearning for change is going to make you work harder. It's going to make mm-hmm. you, you know, focus your efforts in a certain place, and then other times it's going to do the opposite. It's going to make you want to destroy things because yeah. you're like, I'm not in control of my destiny. So, a million dollars to everybody in the world would, I don't know, probably really fuck things up in terms of like a the global economy. That being said, mm-hmm. if I could just give everybody a million dollars without it fucking things up, and then everybody could go on crazy vacations and buy some cool cars that they want or whatever. Like And money going to be gone like this and they go right back in the same situation. Yeah, yeah, and I think the reason I think contentment is better because, you know, yo, it's mad people out here with PPP loans. Mm-hmm. There's mad people out here that's, that have had you money the past year and shit is bad. Remember it's when bad. we was in Florida? Yo, old dude ran up on me. Old dude said, Charlamagne, please, man. He said, please come out here, man, and like it's hold something to speak bro. to the kids, speak to the youth, man, because these kids are getting these PPP loans mm-hmm. and they're using the money to hire people to kill. Kill other people, <laughs> like more, buying real. more guns, like getting buying like, more yeah, guns, wilding. buying more drugs. So you need peace, man. I want peace and contentment. I'm, money is not the answer. Mm. So says the people with money. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta listen to that. But I'm not listen. I'm never gonna sit here and tell nah. y'all that money ain't nah, a make, thing. You nah, need money. Money, 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 money is great. Calm some Definitely. shit down. Money, Gives you the opportunity yeah. to have that like quiet bliss. things down. Yeah, Not if so you're loud. already that person, because money oh, magnifies oh, whatever you already are. Yeah. So if still, you're a person yeah. who seeks contentment and peace on a regular basis anyway, the money's just going to help you get closer to it. It's still, it's still quiet those those things down that go in your head like rob them or do this or do that or <laughs> things that you wouldn't do if you was more comfortable. Maybe it, so you, it, you, it's loud as hell when you broke. You mm. give somebody you give somebody a million dollars who's still in that savage mindset and you don't change their mindset, they're gonna take that million dollars and do more savagery with it. Yeah, yeah, for you know sure. What I'm saying? Like that's for why sure. I'm so big on like mental health and healing, because you gotta deal with what's in here mm. and in here. Your head and your heart. You deal yes. with what's in your head and your heart, Rest then follows. all the worldly stuff that comes your way, you can handle. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's it. That's it, my brother. All right, man. We did it. Um, yeah. I like the way that flowed today. That was good. You know what I'm saying? You like that? You know what I mean? Taylor over here producing, you know? You produce? <laughs> I was giving you props. I thought you did a good job producing. <laughs> and, then was... I t- and I texted her the past couple of weeks too, like, Taylor, you did a really good job doing X, Y, I'm giving up props. You did a good Taylor's a phenomenal producer. Let's not ever get that fucked up. Taylor is a phenomenal producer. Taylor does all of the imaging on Breakfast Club. She does imaging for various podcasts, and she does a phenomenal, phenomenal job at that. Taylor will be one of the best producers in the game. You know what I mean? We just all need a little focus. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's I, all. I say we bring you back. I think you're getting a, <laughs> <laughs> I think you're getting a mic back soon. <laughs> I think you're getting a mic back soon. As always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.